Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know why. Um, let me get this set up. I guess. Still hear music. Yay. Oh, is this gonna set up how I think it is? Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, I thought it was unlisted. Give me just a minute so I can get chat back up. My game audio is still gonna be broken, unfortunately. <sighs> um, okay, give me just a minute. So that's a new one. Um, I, uh, I've never had that, sorry, the song became very strange. Um, I've never had that happen. I have no idea what happened. All of a sudden, I wonder, oh, I might know why. Maybe. Uh, it may be because Streamlabs had two donations go through, and I don't know. All of a sudden, I looked at my computer and it said like um, CPU usage instead of like 25%, which is what it usually is at. It's like, it was like 70. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? Um, yeah, that has never happened before. Uh, I have no idea why. Um, I, have, I really can't guess why that happened. Anyway. Justin, I don't know if you're here yet, but thank you. It's much appreciated. Uh, all these donations go right now to making the stream better, and what that means is paying for the PC I just bought that just crashed my fucking bank. Um, anyways, I didn't die, but I was struggling to not die while also trying to communicate. What am I listening to? This is like spooky music. Can you successfully... Dude... People remember, can you successfully stream without getting cucked by Streamlabs? I would start every single stream at the beginning of when I started streaming with just complaining about how much Streamlabs has betrayed me. And... Sorry, I was doing some mental mathematics in my head. Um, I just noticed that when you do that, the entire environment changes and there's like black drops everywhere. It's like a really big environment change. Anyway, um, I went through many, many months of being cucked by Streamlabs and Elgato because I had a capture card that just did not want to work with my Mac. Um, it's mentioned a little bit uh, uh, in uh, the Code Vein video. I think I, I was going to put this whole segment about like how... I was playing without audio or like delayed audio, so one of the fights that was really supposed to be really easy was actually really hard. Um, but I think I just summed it down to a text because I was like, who cares? Um, but uh, Elgato, after like four or five months of just struggling and agonizing uh, because they didn't have anyone available due to COVID and everything was just really protracted, uh, they upgraded my capture card for free. I didn't get a refund for the shitty capture card I bought, but they paid the difference for my new capture card. The new capture card uh, does shit that I didn't even expect it to do, and it's wonderful. Um, so I am happy with the capture card. Streamlabs, however, has still not been able to help me at all. They did say they released an update especially for me. Big fucking doubt on that. Uh, they have been entirely unhelpful. Um, a couple weeks before I sent in my issues, they closed down their forums. Real nice. Uh, their contact, their, like, their help ticket, their support tickets are super hard to find. Um, and they're like, just go to our Discord, it'll be fine. They're never there. And I probably made the situation worse for myself because I'd go in their Discords and people would be like, can I have help? I need help. And I would say... I say, buddy, you gotta wait for like five hours, um, like two or three hours. Stop posting because they're not gonna be here. Um, 
and I probably just aggravated a bunch of people. Um, and then they'd be like, oh, you seem like you know what you're doing. Can you help? I'm like, no, I don't know anything about this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Streamlabs has been pretty ass, but it's kind of monopolistic. Mon is that a word? It kind of holds a monopoly over stream streaming abilities for me because I use a Mac. Maybe that'll change. Maybe I'll switch to OBS. The thing is, the Streamlabs UI is so nice that I almost don't want to go into OBS. And OBS really scares me because I first tried OBS um, on my Smash run, my Brawl run. And I didn't stream, but I used it to record. And it would crash all the time. And I had I lost footage, so I had to redo parts of the run. And that is not cash money, my dudes. So it's pretty awful. <sighs> anyway... That is my the deal with Streamlabs. I wish I knew what other streamers use. I I think Simple Flips uses Streamlabs. Simple, Simple Flips is like my favorite streamer. Love him. Uh, okay. Um I'm actually going to buy Bold Hunters marks. Um so that I don't have to come back here every single time. I think this is worth it. Because that took me two runs to get that. And I think that's going to be more efficient. Even though it costs kind of a lot. Where am I going? Lecture hall. <sighs> How'd you manage to start the game if you don't have any spells? Real quickly. I already went through it. Uh, real quickly. I went through... There's a glitch you can do to get into Forbidden Woods early. I took the Beast Roar from Forbidden Woods, pushed Valter, or whatever his name is, off the elevator, then killed his friend using the elevator, and then I had the Matara's Whistle, and then I had a way to attack. That is the quick explanation. Adam Jensen is in chat. Who? Did that not hit? I wasn't looking at the screen, because I was so certain that would hit. Ha, 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 ha. Um, I can't take credit for that strategy. I can take credit for pushing Voltaire off, which was one of the funniest strats I have ever seen. I almost wanted to put it in the highlight video, but I think I'm going to put that in the main video. Um, because it was glorious. It was, I was so excited that it worked. Because Beast War doesn't do any damage, so it's like... I had to figure out some other way to kill him. That was... Did you see that bullshit? I'm pretty sure I just hit the wall there. And these motherfuckers are... Th they're... <laughs> I don't want to use dirty language. But they are throwing... I almost did. I don't want to. It would... It would disappoint my grandmother. Um... You'll find that I'm... Well, I don't... Never mind. Anyway, it's bullshit. They're throwing all this shit through the walls, and I can't. Dumb. Throwing hands. Exactly. <laughs> Literally. Someone said about, uh, the whole point was to parry Gwyn. If you're talking about Pegpa, that's not the point of Pegpa. The point of Pegpa is not to parry Gwyn. Parrying Gwyn's really easy. The point of Pegpa is to kill him without him being able to attack you at all. So that I didn't have to accomplish the, what, what, what did I get it down to? 28 parries? The 28 parry, so if, so say I didn't learn, I didn't beat the Gwyn run how I beat it. Um, what I said about getting the parries down to whatever number I said, that would not actually be the strategy I would use. Uh, because that strategy to get the 28 parries at least as much as I practiced it, which was about 45 minutes, was pretty difficult to do consistently. Um, it probably would have been around 40. If I remember correctly, I was telling my friend Trevor it would be like 40 parries, which I couldn't do. And that's 40 parries with maybe one, you're allowed to make one mistake. You're allowed to get hit once and then you're done after that. So, it is pretty casual how I did things, but 
you know, it's casual in the all Gwyn run, so. Eh. The Code Vein run, I was not, like, the shit I did there, that was, like, hard fucking core. I was going so hard. I saw someone, oh, Justin mentioned Game Champ. That's not at all what... What the fuck is the button? Jeez, you, I... Does anyone else just constantly forget how to play these games? There was, oh, like I say, in the Gwyn run, actually. After, you know, I'd been playing it for, like, 12 hours. I forget how long I was doing Asylum. But, like, in the middle of attacking how I killed Gwyn doing those jump attacks, I would just forget how to do it. And I'd have to go away and be like, what are the controls again? It's weird. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of interested in the brain. Brain patterns. I wonder if that's similar to being tongue-tied. So fun, fun fact for anyone, I guess most people that are new to this. Um... I have a degree in neuroscience primarily, and another one in psychology. My neuroscience degree was in a focus of neurobiology, um, and that's what I have done as a job. So I, I kind of moved away from neuroscience because I found the aspect of always studying rats to not be that interesting to me. Now that I'm older, I kind of know better than that. There are studies you can do with humans, but, eh. Questionable validity for some of them. Uh, so, <laughs> I say that, and then what I'm gonna say next, other people are gonna be like, oh, well, you're fucking hypocrite. Um, but, up until COVID, I was working as a researcher, um, studying psychopathic behavior. Um, Unfortunately, I have forgotten most of it, even though I was like hardcore, I was going to be published and all this shit, and COVID kind of fucked that all up. I was getting my, I was planning to get my doctorate at the same time. Um, what am I listening to? Oh. Um, but, anyway, that's kind of what I did, and I'm also a teacher, uh, substitute teacher, really. But I was a choir director. For this last semester, um, despite never having sung before, but I had enough instrumental knowledge and I was willing to learn enough choral and vocal stuff to teach middle schoolers. But, um... <sighs> that's, that's just disappointing. Also, notice this guy has no idle animation except from the waist down. Let's actually... Oh, I sold it, didn't I? Did I sell it? I want to confirm this. I, no, I kept it right in case there was any memes. Okay. Does this guy have absolutely no idle animation? It doesn't look like it. It is literally just this. Fucking me at my lectures. How do I get out of this? Um, okay. Goodbye. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, if you're wondering why some of my videos are pretty, like, very analytical, I'm a very analytical person. I'm trying to get back into research right now, it's just difficult, because no one wants me. <laughs> no, don't, gosh this game it's not this game that that was totally my fault my mic is weird what is it did my mic get fucked up again I used to have this problem where the mics like slow down a lot and it would make my voice sound deeper which uh, s screwed up one of my world records so I have a for all you jazzers out there I have I had someone beat it the world record for the most times playing the lick consecutively which was over 10,000 times I didn't count it exactly because who the hell wanted to do that but because I didn't want to count it I did a few more than 10,000 it uh, took me eight and a half hours to do um, it wasn't the purest record I played trumpet piano 
uh, vocals and bass guitar to achieve it. Um, but the recording of it, it was live streams, the recording of it fucking was distorted. And so it's just not even worth watching. It's pretty disgusting. Mic is fading in and out. It's weird. Are you sure that's not the uh, the noise gate? Um, I can push it closer to me. Um, uh, it is. It is. I think it, it might be a little soft. That's why, and it's not capturing as well. I don't really want to speak louder though. I'll just put it closer. This is really fucking hard to do. Or maybe it's just cockstrong. Oh. Oh, it was you? Okay, I will move the mic away from me. Oh, good. What is this door? Have I not been in this door? Oh, that's you. I... So I hit the, the roll button about 3,000 times right there, but because I was talking the patches, it was like, nah, how about no? I just got some strong Code Vein vibes right there. It was not letting me switch my targeting. You know what? This game sucks. I hate Bloodborne. <laughs> I'm just I'm about to go off. Anyway. Ah. Does Rally work with Augur? No. <laughs> Um, I'll actually note that. That's kind of a good note. Oh, that was so close. Rally does not work with Augur. Does not work with Augur. To be honest, this challenge doesn't look that hard. Um, well, we haven't gotten to the hard parts yet, but yeah, I don't think it'll be... I'm going off the, cons the consumable only run. Uh, cause that's what inspired this run, and that run looks way, 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 way more difficult. Um, I guess I'll go back now. Is that the best hunter tool to use? I have no idea. You go to the Reddit and you're like, which one's the best to use? And they're all like, depends what kind of player you are. And I'm like, when you're this restricted, <laughs> there's kind of an, a, a bit of answers i mean there's it, it narrows down the answers are you gonna try all bosses of course uh not chalice bosses i don't consider those to be in the all boss run i have to farm that again gosh this sucks i hate this run <laughs> if those idiots on reddit lied to me i guess i it's kind of my fault because well I should have done the uh, calculations myself. Farewell. When is the all oops all fume uh, nights coming? So here's my plan, sort of. So as you guys may notice on the left side, there is a donation incentive. Um, the reason there's no specific thing there right now is because uh, I was struggling to come up with one, but now that I have a computer that can change. Uh, the donation incentives are for runs that are completely atrocious and more... Where am I wanting to go? Um, really, it's like, they'll be for runs that people want to see, but I really can't make a good video out of. For example, Minecraft Textureless Run. That's not going to be that exciting to watch or anything. Um, but anyway... Past that, you're asking when the all all fume nights run is. So, the schedule right now is on every Wednesday. I'm going to be doing Code Vein because that was a donation incentive. That run is fucking awful, but I got some advice that might help. Um, Saturdays will continue to be this. Once I get my new computer, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, because I, I don't really want to add more streaming days to my schedule. But, um, I do want to get that all Seath run in. So maybe I'll switch off from Code Vein and the Seath run. 
Um, I kind of want to keep going with this run. This run will be like a nice break because it's mildly easy so far. I hope. Well, I mean, I hope it gets more difficult. Um, but we'll see. Anyway. Oh, I fucked that up. Gosh, I keep forgetting to use blood bullets there. Anyway. It will be the... My plan is to do the all Seath run. So what I want my schedule to be is basically always have... Well... Always have a run that's not from soft, I guess. Um, because I like doing other games. So I'll have Code Vein for now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do after that in that regard, but maybe I'll do Dark Souls and Bloodborne for a while. But I kind of want to, you know, not always be playing a FromSoft game every week. I want to have some variety. But anyway, did I kill this guy and not get the Blood Vials? No, I didn't. Um, I keep delaying this. I will be doing all Seath. Um, again, I'm not counting this because it's intentional. All Seath run. Then I want to do all Calamite. Or, well, these... So, here's... here's All Seath first. Then I will, in some order, I don't know, do Calamite, Manus, and Artorius. I want to get all of those done. Because those are the most important and the hardest, I think, for the Gwyn, uh, the, the Gwyn run. See, this is what happened after I beat the, the Gwyn, the Gwyn run. I started calling everything Gwyn. Uh, before I get to that subject. After that, I will continue to go through each boss in a random order. And I want to completely own every single boss for, uh, Dark Souls 1. Um, now that's gonna, um, that's gonna mean, you know, at the end of it, it's probably gonna be really easy because, you know, I'll be doing the hardest bosses first. I just want to get the hardest bosses done first so I can say I did the hardest bosses, you know? Um, so I'd respect anyone who's thinking, I, I would hope anyone that's doing these challenges would respect my wish that I want to accomplish this. I would have had them already done, most likely, if I had had that PC, but the PC is just so difficult. Um was so difficult for me to get. Now, th unfortunately, making those videos is going to be... Don't forget to extract bullets. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. Gosh. Thank you for reminding me. Oh. Anyway. I want to get... I want to be the one with all of the bosses done. For all, all bosses done. Um, I'm not, I won't be too upset if I can't, but I def, I forgot what button to press. I definitely want to get those hardest bosses I mentioned. I want to lay claim to those. But unfortunately, getting the videos of those is going to take forever. You know what? I'm not going to use, well, I guess I can use blood bullets to drain my health. Um, also, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I am farming blood vials. Fun, fun, great stream for all of my new subscribers, right? <sighs> anyway, so like I said, in addition to all of those, may maybe I'll n I'll not follow this rule and do the Seath run at the same time as this Bloodborne run, but I will be doing a game that is not a FromSoft game every week, most likely. So right now I'm doing Code Vein. Um, I, the next one might be Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I have to look. Um... Oh no, it's probably going to be Mario Sunshine. I really want to see if this Mario Sunshine one works. But yeah. Oh, way, 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 way back. Someone was talking about Game Champ. If you guys want to know some other good, great challenge runners, I can give you my opinions on all of them. And this also kind of... Um, this, I guess this is kind of what pushed me to my style. Or it's, I guess it's where I fit in in the challenge run universe so game tramp 3000s a really great um oh hey jonathan yeah we're going through a big boom right now jonathan helped tremendously in one of the code vein bosses but he's also a cool dude and it's really early for him i think anyway 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 um what am i listening to oh more city gunner game champ 3000 is a great um 
challenge runner, her specialty is, um, I would say, is a variety of games and having a good voice. She has really high production value, where um, whereas she doesn't do much editing. And the script is sort of lackluster at times, but she has a really great voice, whereas Mitten Squad <coughs> probably has the best script out of any of us, um, but has a lackluster voice depending on how you look at it. He's very monotone. Um, and again, no editing. He also does not diversify his content that much. It's a lot of... Um, it's a lot of Fallout and Skyrim. Um, but he's a great guy. Um, also, just real quick. I haven't heard of Kenshi. I'll look into it. People were suggesting that. And Mortal Shell, I'm doing a vanilla run right now, just in my personal time. Uh, my thoughts on the game is, it's alright. I am trying to reserve my extreme critical judgment because it was a super small team that made it. But it is alright. Anyway. Other challenge runners. Small Ant 1 is more of a speedrunner. Um, but he does more Nintendo runs and Pokemon runs, so if you're interested in that... Uh, he does not edit his his streams, or excuse me, his videos. They're just, well, he does. They're just highlights of the stream. And they are also, they're all commentated because he's talking. But they're not really, there's no edits put in, like edits like mine. And there's no, um, I don't know. I, so a lot of the time I don't find his commentary that interesting. That's why usually when I watch his stuff, I look for the Super Mario Odyssey runs. Because he's an ex he's probably, out of all of us, that I'm going to mention, he's the most skilled by a lot. Well, I'd probably say I'm the second most skilled out of everyone I've seen um, in like general ability. But um, he, Small Ant, is like way, way, way more skilled than me in many games, uh, being a speedrunner. But anyway, uh, that's another one. Senza is a great uh, challenge runner I just found recently who has great scripts, does editing uh, like mine, and great narration. He's pretty great. Senza's pretty awesome. Um, me, though, I don't think my voice is that great. Um, it's not monotone, but sometimes that helps. I know in the Gwyn runs it seems like that, and hopefully you don't like that too much, because I put way more energy into my voice in my newer videos, because I learned how to put myself in the right headspace. Or the wrong headspace. Um, but I think I have the highest editing strength out of everyone. Mine might, it might not be refined at some times. Um, but I, I put the most effort into editing out of any challenge runner I've seen. Um, except potentially Yimfa. Um, except he doesn't have to narr edit his audio because a lot of his videos he doesn't. But, like, Yimfa probably does the most, like, sound effect stuff, which is, like, a big part of videos, but I just can't... <sighs> I just don't want to pay for all the copyright licenses and sound effect everything and find the right sound effect. It's just a headache for me. <sighs> but, um... I don't know who you're talking about as written as Senza. Um, is it as written as Senza? But anyway, Yimfa is basically a lot of memes. Ooh, uh, and speaking of memes, well, I could say a lot of things on memes, but speaking of memes, Nathaniel Bandy is sort of a challenge runner. The reason I don't like him a lot is because he's family friendly, and I feel like a lot of his things kind of become childish, but that's his style, whatever, no hate. Um, but he... Nathaniel was looking at one of his old videos, and he said something that had a really big impact. Well, not the largest impact on me, but it, I always remember it now. Um, I'm pretty sure I took track of some of those stats. He, he was like, oh man, these... He's like, I never put memes in my videos anymore because they a lot of them age really poorly. And, 
Um, I always remember that now, so I really try not to make too many memes in my my video unless I think it is a very uh, significant one that will stand the test of time. Mikey said, is this later game? Technically, um, I got into this area when I was supposed to. You're just sort of supposed to play this area kind of end game, um, but you don't have to. This is the DLC and it's pretty fucking hard. Um, for anyone who doesn't have Bloodborne or hasn't gotten the DLC, this DLC is one of the best DLCs I have ever gotten in my life. Cool. You are lengthening the time of my death. Very cool. Thanks, Hag. Oh, my voice is going to be sore. Another fun fact, I used to run a podcast. A jazz podcast. It's really embarrassing now. But, um... Gosh, I used to get really frustrated on there. <coughs> or, I mean, my throat would be frustrated. <sighs> That's why Pyro's videos are mostly terrible watching over a year later. Yeah, I haven't watched Pyro. I never really watched Pyro. Someone asked if I've played Metal Gear. Uh, like I said before, I don't like sneaking games. So, and the reason I don't like it is because I don't have the patience to set up this incredible plan and then get cucked because someone from three million yards away just happened to see my hat stick out from the wall and then I have to reset the entire, all of my progress to do something. I'm not that into that. However, I have played Metal Gear Solid uh, Phantom Pain and it was fun. Metal Gear game with Raiden isn't sneak. So I feel like we have to do a donation incentive one for that just for Senator Cockstrong. Because Senator Cockstrong was one of the first people who ever commented on my videos and he's been a great member. Sometimes I don't really appreciate some of the stuff he says. Um, but he, is, he has helped a lot and I do appreciate him. But also, I want to play that game because that game is fucking total memes. Blood Bullets. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> See? No, I need to... I want to play that game. I watched Vinny Vinesauce play it, and it was... Uh... Why do you dodge the first whistle? Don't you want to die? Oh, you know what? I am so glad I actually thought about that for three seconds longer. Because at first I was like, holy shit, you are totally right. Why am I dodging it? However, I need to dodge it in order to pick up the blood vials, which is the whole entire point. I'm glad I thought about that for like three more seconds before just suiciding myself with no gain. Um... Sometimes it's important to say obvious things like that because sometimes I miss obvious shit. That was a close one. I was like, wait, why am I dodging the first one? <laughs> Did you say you are not patient? Yeah, it's 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 a contradiction. I understand. What what do I always say? There there's something about the Gwyn run. And people are always like, what the fuck do you mean? What is it? It might just be that I say it's not that hard. Because you just use bow and arrow. Oh, well, like, the... Co okay, here's an example. So, Senator Conk... Conk? Senator Conk Strong commented on the Code Vein video, um, which made me really happy because at least someone's looking at the stats. Um, but if you didn't know, I put stats for all my deaths and some other stuff. Um, I might not do that as intensely anymore. But anyway, I... At the top of my Code Vein video, I put the deaths, my death count, in order of how difficult the bosses were. And Cockstrong said, yo, you put this guy as harder even though you died more to him. 
And there's some reasoning to that because like some of them, it's like you figure out the strategy and then you just execute the strategy and it's so fucking easy. Or like specifically with this guy named Nito who is kicking my ass in uh, right now in his new game plus form in Tower of Trials, the other stream I'm doing. Um, he's not hard. He is extraordinarily easy to telegraph and everything. Um, and like... I could kill him really fast, but the reason there's so many deaths is because he fucking one-shots me. But it's like, it's really not that hard. I don't know, my perception of difficulty is so warped now, but like, I don't see it as difficult. And it, I think part of the reason that makes it not as difficult, sort of, in the way my brain is working, is the penalty for death was very small because I just had to run 10 seconds to get to him again after I died. Anyway. Wait, can you kill the man through the gate and pick up... Oh, gosh. That... Okay, see, now... Now you're saying stuff. Okay, okay. You are right. I can kill that guy through the gate and pick up the blood vials. That's not going to give me an advantage, though. Because I still have to die. I guess I, guess, I, guess I could do this. I mean, I, I... I guess... I guess it sort of saves some time. I guess. I, I guess it sort of saves some time. Time save through gate optimization, right? So everyone's wondering about like all bosses. Assume in, in, so here's the thing. With Dark Souls 1, assume that I will eventually complete all, all bosses. With the Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and Bloodborne, I will likely fight the at least the most difficult boss based on my own perceptions. Um, after that, who knows if I'll have like any soul left to do more. But I, I, like, what, what, what is this? What? I just forgot about the strat. Anyway, um, you know, after the Dark Souls runs are gonna be pretty awful after a while because it's gonna be sort of the same strats on and on and that's why I, what i envision is i'll do like all seath that'll be its own video maybe all manis and all that and then what will probably start happening is i'll start bunching them together i'll be like okay this was minotaur or taurus demon capra demon and whatever all together um in one video because the runs will start blending together you know because uh, the strats will be pretty similar there might be some like highlights and different uh, different parts. Um, but we'll see. Um, I will definitely do all the Dark Souls 1 bosses. Uh, I don't think... I, I I did it again. I don't think I will do all of Dark Souls 2, all of Dark Souls 3. Because, you know, it'll probably get old. For, for people watching. And for, for me. More importantly, me. Well... Yeah, more importantly, me. <laughs> anyway, um, however, I, I definitely, no matter what, how defeated I feel after doing all the Dark Souls 1 runs, I will definitely uh, do Dark Souls 2 and 3 because it's totally new strats, it's totally new problem solving, and the thing that I like most about challenge runs is the problem solving. That's why, well, there's two reasons why the Smash runs are the most fun. Probably the primary reason is that I use save states, and it's just like, there's no punishment, really. Even if I have to do something for like an hour, if I did it without save states, it'd be like 24 hours. Whereas, um, if I... And then the... Well, I forgot what I said the second thing was, but a different thing is also the, the range... Oh, the range of movement in Smash games is so 
leaves so much room for like different answers to things but then like the third thing is problem solving i think trying to figure out the solutions to everything is very entertaining to me <sighs> yeah but people say i'm a masochist not really I just have high pain tolerance and I want... It's just basically, you know, why people start playing Souls games in the first place, for a lot of them, it's they want to actually feel a sense of accomplishment. And that's um, theorized why Souls is doing... did so well, is because so many games were just, like, spoon-feeding you accomplishments and stuff. It wasn't actually hard. Because if you remember, like, the old arcade, like, the Mario, the... I don't know the names of the Mario games, but like, you know, the 2D Mario you play in like the arcade, they're really fucking hard. Like Pac-Man, I can't believe it. I, I haven't played Pac-Man that much, but when I get to like the fourth like stage, holy shit, it's just so unbelievably fast and whatever. And then like, you know, after like recently, all the games have just been so, so easy and you're losing the sense of accomplishment. You're just kind of being spoon fed. And sometimes you don't need that you don't need the difficulty you know maybe you're in it for the story or whatnot um that's why for like a lot of times i play new games i want it to be somewhat challenging but not like max difficulty that's why like when i played god of war 4 i i had it on max difficulty spent 15 minutes in the tutorial area and be like i'm gonna hate this game if i stay on uh this difficulty so i went down one and it was like a good souls kind of difficulty or at least how I perceive a soul's difficulty now. But anyway. <clears throat> um, and now, now it's like one of my favorite games. But I definitely would have hated it. I felt very strongly that I shouldn't have died there. <sighs> A lot of talking. Um, what am I doing? Oh, death. I need to move this to here oh i haven't put a death on here since i the whole screen got blown up which may have been because i tried to change the death amount apparently because it's right when i changed the 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 death amount all of a sudden it like deleted the zero extremely slow and then put a one there i'm like I, if this is taking 30% of my CPU to do, what the fuck? <gasps> Holy shit. Hold on. That's burnt in too. I never noticed that. So what I noticed last time is before, or when I was dying to Vicar Amelia, you can see like the bricks of the loading screen before you go to the loading screen. And right there, I need to write this shit down, but I can't because there's all these dickwads here. When... I got my blood echoes right there. Once again, I could see the bricks on the screen. I never noticed that. Is it, does anyone, there's like people, someone else was like, oh yeah, I knew that. I, is that like common knowledge? The sense of accomplishment, is that dopamine? Probably, what else would it be? Yeah, there's no... I guess I never... I never thought about that. Accomplishment is also run by dopamine receptors. Probably. Yeah, there's no other molecule. There's no other neurotransmitter. That would make sense, I guess. Unless I'm forgetting one. He gained insight, lol. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down because I don't think many people know that and that's that is like extraordinarily interesting to me mostly because I never noticed it before I don't know why I'm not I think the reason I'm noticing it now is I'm so close to my TV screen what are those bricks they're the loading screen they're or when you die or whatever it's part of the loading screen <sighs> So, 
So, uh, using Bold Hunter's Mark, I mean, I guess I'll find out in five seconds. I don't know why I'm saying this out loud. Um, it's not going to restore my blood vials, I bet. I don't think it does. <sighs> okay. Bricks. That's not how you spell bricks. Bricks. When retrieving blood echoes... And Vicar Emilia. <sighs> I spelt it Bix without the R. Oh yeah, another run I want to do, and I, I guess Senator Cockstrong once again suggested it. But I want to do a Subnautica. I really enjoyed that game. And I really, uh, I really wish, I think Zero and I were talking about it, and it's not impossible, and I think, like, when I played the game, even before I started doing challenge runs, I'm like, I wonder if this is possible. I think the run would be to do it without building a ship or any, like, transport device, but I think it is impossible. I'll have to look at it, but I really would love to do Subnautica, because that game is so much fun. See, that was, that's one of the last fun games I played. I need, like, a relaxing game, though. Like, I'm playing Mortal Shell, and it's alright, but it's like... I need something to relax to. Or maybe I've just outgrown being able to be relaxed. This is pretty relaxing right now. Well, it's not relaxing. I guess I'm not getting... I wonder what, rela what neurotransmitter relaxing is. If it is... What just happened? What? Did I just use something twice? I was going to say, the neurotransmitter I want is, uh, not opium. Why do I keep thinking opium? What is it? What is it? Oxytocin. That's my, that's the one I want. Good one. Good game to relax to is Dead Space 2. I haven't beaten it yet, uh, but I played Dead Space 1. I was like, this is a pretty good game. And then I played Dead Space 2 on, like, nightmare mode. Because when you make a horror game hard, it gets more scary. That game is really well made. It's fun and it's fucking terrifying. But as people found out, and I also found out, oh, here's a good story I can tell while I'm doing this. I'll just, I'll just, I can tell all the stories again because all the new people are here, so I'm not repeating myself. I just told the story like yesterday too uh, to some of my friends. Anyway, we found out. Um, I, so I've had all my friends play like Resident Evil 7, which I think is a masterpiece of a game. But I had never beaten it uh, because I had no one stay long enough to want to beat it with me. Um, so while I was doing casual runs to kind of allow myself not to get behind on making videos, which I guess I've completely just given up on that concept now. Because, you know, there's like there's like eight videos that are backed up that I'm supposed to be making. But anyway, um, I found out that I am the just peak scared. I am peak pussy when playing horror games by myself. I am so awfully... I need to get back to Death Stranding. I forgot. I have gotten so... I was so stressed while playing Re uh, Resident Evil 7. I could only play for like two hours. And like, I love... The, I love the game, like, the horror stuff and whatever, but, like, I was just scared. I was so... I was so terrified the entire time. I was like, man, I guess I really am just a coward. But, um... That's what I've learned about myself. I, um, so, Death Stranding, real quick, let me get to that. My opinion on Death Stranding that was interrupted by everything breaking down um i if you say it's a walking sim we're not friends just 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 chill out like i said i watched it um i was watching a playthrough of it and then i mostly skimmed through and watched the cutscenes. i think as a very long movie it is one of the most fascinating pieces of like literature and story and setting and like everything i think it is absolutely incredible because i feel like there's a lot of stuff in there like concepts that i have never even heard of or thought of or have any 
really thing that's super resembling that. The the graphics make me just I am so excited for the future because they are so good. Um, like Norman Reedus, there was only one complaint I have about the models, and that's that the teeth look a tiny bit weird, but like the tiniest bit. Everything else looks absolutely gorgeous. And like, just just so good. And it makes me super excited. Um, Norman Reedus's character was absolutely hilarious. And I think my favorite characters in video games are the ones that are just really genuine. Um, that's why like Aloy is my favorite character. Her dialogue is just amazing. But like, one of my favorite parts in Death Stranding, and I wish I kinda had it more memorized, but they're taking the president's body out and then Guillermo del Toro is like, oh, with, with her, America has died or some shit. And then like a couple minutes pass and they're carrying her body out and they're like, Sam, you must burn her body for the sake of America. And he's like, what? You just fucking said that America, if she dies, America dies with her. And like just his response to just not taking any bullshit and like pointing out it's like dude you just said <laughs> and now you're sending me on this quest i i fucking that is my favorite part of the entire thing i remember it's so, well i guess i don't remember it that vividly but i i love it i think it is so fucking funny he's like what you just said america dies if she dies ah um but no i i think the gameplay maybe it was interesting i didn't play it myself i can tell you that i most likely would hate playing that game um i, I can't say that oh whoops i can't say that oh maybe some people would like it or something i i i don't see that but maybe that would change if i played the game i could like oh so i can see how some people could like it but i can tell you i would not like the game at all Farewell. but i i feel like if they made that like a really long movie, um, I I mean I I thought oh gosh the story is awesome and people are like it's so weird and crazy and not good it's just so crazy I don't I I and they're like oh it's way too hard to follow I didn't I don't think it was that hard to follow I felt like it was pretty you know it wasn't the easiest but. Oh, yeah, I always, I tell people to, like, somehow watch it. It's hard because there's, like, some, like, in-game scenes that are important that, excuse me, that are not cutscenes, but, uh, yeah. So what was I talking about? Oh, this story. This is a great story. It's a good party story. So, um, a couple of years ago, I was house-watching for a neighbor and I knew her pretty well, uh, so she was okay with me having a little more freedom than I guess your average home sitter. Uh, I was primarily watching her dogs. And so one day I was over there and I was like, hey, I texted her and I said, hey, can I like call some friends over um, because I'm not doing anything um, and I'm bored? And they're like, yeah, that's totally fine because they trust me. So I invite these two girls over that I know and um, <laughs> um, so they come over and the problems start immediately. So my one friend comes over and there's this girl out there standing, watching her and staring at her. And she tells me this and she's like, who the fuck is that? And I was like, oh, that's so-and-so. She's, um, she's a bit i don't know if she's autistic oh she probably i have a lot of contact with people who have asperger's but only high functioning i'm not really sure what low functioning asperger's looks like anyway she was on the spectrum in some way and she has a massive or she had a massive crush on me and she's like you know like 15 how old am i five She's like 10 years younger than me. Um, so it's like, you know, the a childhood, a, I'm probably dead. You know, like a, a kid's crush, you know? 
So, anyway. She tells me this, I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. We get a knock at, a, at the door, and for some reason, I... I guess I did... I did answer it. And, but I didn't really have much contact. They just said, your car is blocking the road, as in my friend's car. So my friend went out there to fix it, and it definitely was not in the way of anything. Uh, I think it was in, like, the garage area. And this girl this girl knows that I'm house-sitting. I'm house-watching. And so my friend's like, okay. So she, like, backs up and parks on the street. And this girl stares at her all the way and is, like, crossing her arms and just watching her in the middle of the street, like, park. We're like, what the fuck? Anyway, about an hour passes. I have these girls play Resident Evil 7 because it's fucking hilarious and I love to put people through it. Um, and so here's where it, here's where it gets spicy. <laughs> and if you're if you're not listening with headphones or are alone, this might be might might be a little concerning uh, audio. But anyway. <laughs> My friend gets to the part where <laughs> they're fighting Mia for the first time. And this this girl is not a gamer. So she's struggling with the shooting controls. And uh, honestly, I struggle with the shooting controls in that game. And she is saying, <laughs> no, stop. No, I don't want to do this. Andy, don't make me do this. And I am laughing hysterically. And you know, she, I'm not forcing her to do it. But anyway, I get <laughs> the doorbell rings. <laughs> I open the door and there's a police officer there. And I just thought about what happened in the last two minutes. And just, I remember almost smiling and saying, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I, I'm going to jail. This looks so awful for me. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> goodbye everything i was like i'm gonna be labeled whatever so and so i was like my life is over and and i just realized because i told the story the other day because i was with that girl again and she so he said oh we got a call that you're not supposed to be here or something i'm like i don't remember exactly what he said probably because i was so terrified but i said well like oh i'm not I'm, I'm house watching, and I, he may have said, does the owner know you have these girls here? I, when I say, they are, they're my college friends. When I say girls, they're not like, they're decent people. Anyway, and then he kind of left without asking further, and I was wondering why he didn't ask further, and I, fig I think I figured this out yesterday. But that's, what is going, oh, I am targeted? I really didn't know that I was targeted. Anyway, sorry. Um, so he, he left without too much issue, and we went back to beating Resident Evil 7, although the mood was kind of ruined, because now I was terrified. Um, but what had happened is that girl got so jealous of me having these girls over that she not only texted the homeowner, who replied back to her and said, Oh, yes, I know about it. It's fine. After that, she said, Well, that's not fucking good enough. So she called the police on me. And like, what the fuck? And I think the reason the cop left so quickly is probably, oh, and the girl was also screaming, obviously. Um, but I think the reason he left so quickly was most likely, well, he didn't hear her, probably, but most likely because this girl has called the police a lot for inane things. And that's what probably saved me from being taken to the, you know, the prison or wherever the check. I can't remember what it's called. <sighs> but that's probably why he didn't ask more questions. Um, maybe he, he should have, but I, he probably did not hear them screaming. And then he just thought, oh, this girl called because, oh, you are not supposed to be here. I don't know. Did I figure that out? I didn't know I figured that out last time. Like, I, I'm pretty sure last time I said, oh, that he probably didn't hear the screaming, but I didn't think I remember. Why am I? Do I have this? Am I going in reverse direction? That's what's going on. 
Anyway, that is what Kana Weezing or Kana. I have a meme of that exact uh, frame from Goblin Slayer. It's one of my most popular ones. Anyway, <laughs> police officer off to Yargul with you, boy. Yeah, that's one of my favorite stories to tell. Am I? What's going on with me? Where? Why? I've been doing this like. What's going on? Why am I lost? I just did this routine like 50 times. How am I lost? Oh. I just got a really bad pain in my head. I'm sure I'm sure it's coincidental. Ow. Anyway. Oh gosh, I can't concentrate now. How do I move this boy? Maybe I'm having a stroke. Maybe it is related. How is your day going? Ask me as I'm getting having a stroke. Man, there's so many people stepping in, uh, coming in. Hello, everyone. I'm sure most of you will be disappointed with my streaming. See you, Mikey. Thanks for coming. Uh, but thank you guys for all of the nice comments. Almost all of the comments on my videos, even though I asked for like criticisms and stuff, they are so nice. And I really appreciate it. Fair. That's fair. <sighs> um, but yeah, it makes me happy. See ya, caveman Hannibal. Oh, oh my gosh. That really... Am I clipping? What's going on? Um, all of a sudden my head really started hurting. Oh, that might be... We have any other people who know brain anatomy? The pain is actually might be where Broca's area is, so that might explain it. Big doubt, though. <laughs> I always I always forget which areas Broca's area and Vernicke's areas are. So what I'm talking about is, um, if you're interested, is where's my chat? There you are. Thanks for coming. Ethan, are you drinking my water, my dude? Yeah, that's water. Uh, Wernicke's area and Broca's area are parts on the cerebral cortex, which is the outer part of the brain. And Broca's area basically controls your speaking ability, and Wernicke's area controls your language ability. And what's strange is on... For most parts of the brain... I mean, the cortex is a little different. But, but for most parts of your brain, it's pretty symmetric. So, like, you know, your eyes, your nerves in your eyes are pretty symmetric. They cross and whatever. And, you know, your whatever. It, most of it's symmetric. But these, uh, the part for speaking, Broca's area, and the part for understanding, Wernicke's area. I feel like there's one more area for some reason. Anyway, they're actually on different sides of the brain, and they're not symmetric. Fun fact. I can't remember which side is which. I always had trouble. Is this something I need to know for psychology? Actually, yes. If you're taking psychology, it's one of the basic... It's like the basic neuroscience that they actually teach to people. <laughs> Anything in the cortex is basically... Well, no, I guess I learned when I was doing psychology, I learned the entire... You learn the basic functions for different parts of the brain. What's funny is in psychology, they completely lie to you. I don't know when they'll catch up on this, but they'll be like, the, they'll be like, the hippocampus is for memory. That's, uh, it is true, but people misinterpret that as the hippocampus is where memory is stored. That is not true at all. It acts as like kind of a filing cabinet. Or like a directory, I guess, is more accurate. If I remember it correctly, it's been like five years. But um, your memory is actually stored in your cortex, and your hippocampus is what accesses it. So if you destroy the hippocampus, your memory is still actually there, but because you have the hippo, if your hippocampus is destroyed, you can't access the memory. I can't remember what that shows symptom-wise, but yeah. I took a very intensive class on memory. It's very good. It was taught by the dean of my college. Huh. 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 
Lots of talking. Why? This place is really confusing. I remember I missed most of these doors. Wait, didn't I miss a door? Didn't I? Oh, that was patches. Never mind. I missed a lot of this place when I first played the game. Where, where is it? Did I get flipped around again? I did. Holy shit. <sighs> what kind of college has a hippo campus? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Andy, what part of the brain controls the horny? I'm actually kind of angry that I can't remember. It's got to be a uh, structure... I don't know why I do this. It's got to be a structure close to the brainstem, because the most important things in your brain are the ones that developed first, and your brainstem developed first, so it's... Oh! Oh! What is it? Oh, no, or is that only in cats? Oh, I just had it. Oh, no, that's cats. There, There's a very specific thing, brain part that's in humans that does something totally different for cats. Gosh, what is it? What is that called? It's like a web-looking thing. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I See, this is the thing. If you guys haven't gone to college yet, you go to college, you get your, like, bachelor's, and then you just fucking forget everything. And it's extremely frustrating. Andy, do a lobotomy on stream. It's not the... Is it the amygdala? I don't think it is. I feel like if it was the amygdala, there'd be sexual references in this from amygdala. From amygdala. Um, oh, this is going to drive me insane. I have to know what it is. It ha it's got to be brainstem, tectum. Why can I? Oh, 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 I just remember. It's hypothalamus. Oh, thank you. I, that's actually from high school because there, for a hypothalamus, you're supposed to remember it as a, uh, as a mnemonic, which is like, it controls hunger. It's like four H's, but one of them is horny. I think, is that, is it hypothalamus or? Oh yeah, well, is it? Because there's another acronym for F. Amygdala is responsible for fear response. Fun fact, it's also for memory, for fear memory and some other memory. But the reason that's so important is because that's how we study memory. Uh, by inducing fear into rats and seeing if they remember certain situations. Amygdala. Am the amygdala actually does a bunch of shit. So there's memory stored there. People always think it's like anger and uh, fear. I feel like it's not as much anger, though. Because, well, it, you can combine it. I guess I'm probably boring people right now. Um... I need to restudy. But anyway. Hyper horny happy? It's hyper? What the hell is hyper? Just energy? I thought there was one for like F because I remember my high school teacher was like, fuck. And she's like a really sweet woman. Um. It's, I, it always drives me insane how much I forgot. Even like last year when I was working on psychopaths and stuff, how much of that I forgot, and I did s so much work. Is this El Sondito? It is. My hypothalamus is incredibly huge. Amygdala <laughs> is also responsible for dropping the alien Lorraine. Lauren Chalice, yeah. Dude, those, the, the chalice dungeons are so fucking bullshit. At one of the first gaming videos I ever did, well, I didn't post it, but like I ever recorded, was me calling, um, I never did this except in the chalice dungeons, but I, I called, I remember it clearly, I called someone, 
some NPC and I did the make con this is all the video is I did the make contact gesture went through the fog gate amygdala jumped up and landed on me and killed me like with a one shot in like five seconds I was like that is such a horse shit same thing with uh, dark beast parl they are awful in uh, that <laughs> in just the dungeons whatever I feel like the chalices would be really fun playing multiplayer but I never I never played multiplayer for a Souls game for the five years I've been playing Souls games. I, I have not played it until last year with me best buddy Trevor, which he may be watching the stream, but maybe if there's a co-op stream, Trevor Trevor can hop on. Trevor is like actually good at the game, and he he's the one that actually planned a lot of the the Gwyn run with me. Uh, not with me, for me. <laughs> I'm sure reading all these comments now that you guys put, he'd be like, oh shit, all these other ways are kind of better in some ways. But I'm kind of glad it was the way I did it. <sighs> Farewell, good hunt. May you find I still think I need a lot more. Well, hold on. How, how many blood vials do I have? Because I've been draining them. 29 stored. Ooh, I have a lot of Quicksilver bullets. That's good. How, how many levels did I go up? Let's see. I was level 28. I went up... 8 levels. It's been like 2 hours, probably. Eh. <sighs> Gain insight, insight, instantly killed. You sound different in videos. Do you use a different mic for streams and videos? Most likely. Oh, well, there's several things that's happening. If you're watching my early videos, um, I didn't know what I was doing with EQing. I still don't know what I'm doing with equalization. Um, but the newer videos I do are much, much better in terms of audio quality. I also put in more, I put more energy in my voice and I don't want people to think that it's, I'm faking stuff. I'm just, the first video I did, I was just reading from the script. Now I put myself in the headspace of like how I was feeling at that moment or usually as if I'm trying to tell a story to someone. <sighs> this kind of wrecked my rhythm. I kind of don't want to go back there, but I also don't feel like I have enough energy to do big thoughts with uh Let, let's let's just let's just see let's see how much damage i'm doing <sighs> um anyway um i use the same mic um but in my newer videos i have much more equalization and it's just i edit it to make it sound a lot better I have a tiny bit of this on here. I don't know if I can EQ my voice in real time, but also my voice is starting to get tired right now. Um, but those are, those are some reasons why it sounds different. But no, this is the same mic. It's a, it's a decent mic for a non-professional. I got it. Why did I? Oh, I got this mic for podcasting. It's me. Editing Andy. <sighs> Are you winning, son? You know, I hate to admit this, but anytime anyone says that, I only hear it in Guaragura's voice. And I don't want people to think I'm a degenerate. That I actually like VTuber content. I watch, I think about 1% of VTuber content is good. I have never watched a stream. But regardless, I only hear Guaragura. What's your favorite part of Bloodborne? Um. Oh. Uh. Well, here, here, here. I'll tell you a, a small story. My favorite part was Orphan of Koss. I thought he was an amazing boss. I had so much fun fighting him, and I, I remember saying, I would beat the whole game again just to fight him. Well, uh, the next run I did was next run. 
the next thing I did was the no armor run. And I think I died 140 times to him. And I never want to see that motherfucker again until my glorious victory in the All Orphan of Kos run. Um, but r if I'm removing that trauma from my memory, um, my favorite parts gameplay wise are Maria and Orphan of Kos. Maybe Maria. I really, really like human enemies. I think it's so much fun. And she is, she's great. <sighs> Story-wise, I don't know. Mikolash is pretty fucking great. Yo, what the fuck is up? 344 is pretty good, but I just got my entire health bar taken away. Uh, let's try this for a few hours. Or a few minutes, we'll see. Trying to get in the right mindset for doing this now. I gotta switch gears. Which one uh, is recommended to kill first? Oh, this is actually gonna be really fucking easy. I say as before the three hour run begins. This is gonna be, you know why it's gonna be easy? Because he's, he's out for the count for like five seconds and I don't have to worry about him. Oh, this is gonna be way easier than I thought, okay. This is good, this is good. Yeah, I'm gonna first try this. What's funny is I can't remember what the second phase looks like. The other time I did this, I went so fast I didn't even see the second phase. Wow! This actually does have some range. Um, so who's- who- who do I kill first? For easiest strat. Or I could say, who do I kill first for hardest, I guess we want to go that route because this is going to be really easy this is i i i maybe don't have it oh ooh, spicy uh, i fucking is that really loud for anyone else okay yeah this will take a, like a couple tries hopefully i don't have to go back and farm yo what up fuck me that is so dumb keep thinking I I have the privileges enemies do. Did he iframe that? Is that even a thing? Kill the fire guy first? That's what I'm kind of thinking. He's being really annoying. Can you piss off? Oh, yeah. It's basically what I thought. Um, yeah, let's start a new page. This is going to be really easy. Give me a minute. I'm just going to write down some notes on how I'm going to do this. Shadows of Yarnum. Uh, plus one death. Oh. And again, if I don't update the counter on here, uh, please remind me. I just did. Well, I guess you have to make sure that you, that I did update the counter. Kill Katana Saber. He's always on your tail. Maybe, but him chasing me around puts me at... Well, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so... Um, Augur. I don't really know how to describe this. I'm frozen. I have to really commit. Really... That's not an R at all. Really commit. My handwriting is it's so terrible. Um, the people in the Discord know this. Uh, I have trouble deciphering it myself. Especially when I'm writing like this, like super fast, like how I did when I was in my lectures. I just could not read my own notes. That's why I'm stupid. Really commit. And then while talking, it makes it a little harder. Really commit to the attack. Um, I'll call it a stagger. Or I guess parry really helps. Um... Easy, I wrote. Cool. Bad handwriting, planning on becoming a doctor. I was, uh, but I hate school so much that I don't want to. Well, okay, I guess I should rephrase my statement because I don't like people calling themselves doctors unless they have a medical doctor degree. But I was planning on getting my PhD before COVID 
blew up everything. <sighs> I don't think I have the energy to do that anymore. Someone told me, if you don't feel like you were born to do it, then you probably shouldn't pursue a PhD. I was like, I don't feel born to do anything. <laughs> So I guess I won't get my PhD, but it might look like I have to get my master's. I just don't have enough passion in anything, unfortunately, as pathetic as it is, to, like, know I fully want to pursue it. But I guess that's how a lot of people's lives are. And I have the luxury of not having to worry about money that much, so I'm fortunate in that regard. But I do have the shame of not making money and not being a self-sufficient adult, I guess. <sighs> Why do my ears hurt? I wonder why people watch Bloodborne than HZD. Because this game is more popular and it's a FromSoft game, so they know there's going to be some dank challenges in it. And I just got a huge boost in views for some reason if anyone can locate why is it really just youtube you should see the youtube's analytic pages oh hello gosh i forgot i think it's Araso or is it Araco? i forgot i was just thinking about you the other day just your profile picture um no i didn't but i have it is coming my new computer um or is it... I forgot which one was second. Is it Araco? Um... But... But the, uh... Okay, I'll try to remember. Um, the analytics pages on YouTube is so in-depth, it is addicting to look at. Um... But, like, the imp well, I guess you can see how many times my videos are shown in the recommendation bar, and it's kind of, like kind of makes me feel bad but it's like your video has been shown like one million times and like it was some like insane a number it was like a thousand times more than the views i get and i was like well my my uh i'm dumb oh shit what 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 just happened is that not the button what oh i already have it okay sorry uh but i'm like am i bad at making thumbnails really i should be extremely well I should have the ability to make super good thumbnails based on my prior experience as a shit poster. Because most of my experience was in picture editing. Well, I guess I shouldn't call it that really. Picture editing in the form of like. G get up, you idiot! Holy shit, that. Was that just I'm cucked forever? I am now married to the ground and nothing else. Why did that take so long to get up? You are such a fast boy. That was painful to watch that. My reflexes are like super high right now. Time is slowing down. And then it's like, you will now stand or lay on the ground for a solid hour. Yeah, that's why I was thinking about you, Araco. Uh, because I'm putting that in the highlights. That section. <laughs> that happened because you got hit while jumping. That's right, there is something like that. I don't know... I didn't make a random change. What I did do recently, I don't know if it was before or after the spike, is I changed the title of my Subspace Emissary run because I was like, wait, most people probably don't know what Subspace Emissary is even if they played Brawl. So even though the title's really long now, it just says, can you beat Super Smash Bros. Brawl's Sub Emissary? And I think more people will see uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl and be more excited about it. Did I? Yeah, I think I did. Thank you, Denton. Good fucking idea. And I call myself a Souls player. <sighs> um, do I have a schedule for streams? Yes. 
Uh, unfortunately, I need to change my channel trailer because it's just not true anymore. I stream Wednesdays and Saturdays, 6 p.m. to 9, 10-ish. I want to try doing shorter streams. I don't know. I guess maybe I shouldn't now. But just realize that, you know, the more I stream, the less, the more I get behind on my videos. But anyway... This is a nice, relaxing, usually. Anyway, Wednesdays, Saturdays, 6 p.m. to 9, 10-ish Mountain Standard Time. I'm a Colorado boy. Woohoo. Um, but yeah, and for now, how am I getting lost? Please don't. Ooh, that would have one-shot me. Oh, here we go. Um, right now it's Code Vein on the Wednesdays and Bloodborne on the Saturdays. However, I get my new computer. All the parts should be here on Wednesday. There may be a problem because my card was declined uh, because my bank is super dumb, even though I have more than... Um, anyway... There will be an extra stream probably this week of me building my computer because some people want to see that for some reason. Um, I, It probably will not be a good stream, but if you want to do that for some reason, you can. I don't really don't know why people are interested. But it'll help me because you know, I have no idea what I'm doing and it's terrifying. But anyway, once I build that computer, literally almost the first thing I'm going to do on it is this all Seath run to one, do the all Seath run, and to two, test if my computer really is as good as I wanted to make it. Um, can, can we, can we not be in this cycle? It kind of sucks. Ah, I fucked that up. Okay, it worked. Does anyone else play with a claw grip for Bloodborne? I really wish I didn't have to. This is why you should be able to run with left, uh, L3. Fuck me. I can't believe that hit! That is so good. Greed. Oh, hi, Vincent. I'll try to remember. Welcome back to the stream. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's how the schedule is right now. I don't know how I'm going to fit the all Seath run in. I feel obligated to do the Code Vein run since that is a donation incentive. I also need to get a new one, like, voted on. So we can figure out what awful, other awful run I should do. Um, how do you make the big snake boy come? Like, the massive snake boy? How do you get him in the arena? I didn't see him last time I fought these guys. Like, as in last time I beat these guys. Yeah what I mean. Wow! That is such a huge range! I mean, like, compared to other things, it's not, but, like, for what this weapon looks like, at least from my perspective, that's insane. Fuck you. That, what was he trying to do there? Was he trying to attack? He did a weird movement. <sighs> Uh, when there's one guy left. Yeah, I, I forgot. Yes. I have a weird claw grip for Bloodborne, and then I have an even stranger grip for Dark Souls. I don't know if I can do it without, like, piss. <laughs> I can't do it without piss. I can't do it without, like, playing the game, because I don't my hand just automatically goes there. What is, oh. <laughs> that was so fucking ballsy. <laughs> I can't believe I survived that. I have to like not get hit. Have I gotten hit yet? I can get hit by that alone. <laughs> Yo! This, I feel like I'm... What do I feel like I'm playing when I'm going around in circles like this? Probably Code Vein. 
Definitely Code Vein, because I'm actively managing my stamina. Piss off. Fuck me. <laughs> I hate this. Piss. What? Are you kidding me? I hate that. That was such a... I felt like I got that. I just literally at that moment remembered What? What happened? What what happened? I don't even know what happened. Did he extend his arm and like sweep up? <laughs> Everyone's saying that's bull. What what act what actually happened there? Good hitboxes. I didn't see it. Uh, super long range. Isn't there a way to get into the arena without them fighting back? That sounds really lame. So how do I play? Hold on. Oh, so this is how I have my right hand on the controller. I have it, like, clawed kind of like that. Or has, do I? I guess I do. But, like, when I play Souls, I literally, like, put my hand across the controller. Why do I do that? It's always when I'm, like, running a long time. It's a weird thing. Why do I do that? I'm trying to... See, I, that's, like, like, what I said. I can't... Maybe it's just because there's something different with Dark Souls controls. If you're asking about how I play the first way, I actually don't even have my finger on it. I'm using the side of my finger. Why do I do this? Oh, because usually I use my thumb to hit circle. Also, I don't have the peak efficiency grip, which I don't think most people do. But, you know, you're supposed to have your index on bumper and your middle on trigger. I just use index only. Um, I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could switch to trigger, but it's not something I'm used to doing. But also, I don't, I don't think, I think that's kind of a disadvantage almost in PS4 controllers, unless you are like keeping your fingers like this, because the, the trigger on PS4 controllers is so unbelievably sensitive. You can push it down like half a millimeter and it's like, input received, strong attack, go. <laughs> the gamer side of the forest is a pathway of many powers that others may consider unnatural. See ya, Jonathan, I always appreciate you, but I also appreciate you getting sleep. <laughs> <sighs> Ow. When is part two of the Crystal Challenge run coming out? Unfortunately, it might never come out. The reason for that is... So, if you want to know, I'm at Whitney right now. And there's many reasons it won't come out. I'll explain that before doing this. So, that run, the memory in the game is so small that... Excuse me. We can only... He's talking about Pokemon Crystal. Um, everything's level 100 except me. So, each area of the game is, um, it, there's not enough memory for all the trainers, so we have to delete parts of the game in order to get the quote-unquote challenge in. And I don't know how to do that myself, and it's really apparently awful to do it's like hexadecimal editing and there is a man named brad who is amazing just out of nowhere said he would do this this is when i had like 10 subscribers and he offered to do this for me um unfortunately he's been very busy so he can't do it but i'm not too worried it would be great to get that done but i don't see how i can make an entertaining video out of that yes i made the hop it run that was pretty entertaining i guess 
what's going to happen is basically I show you the stretch. This would take like three minutes. I would show you how I was able to level up my Pokemon. And then after that, it's just I grinded for 15 hours and blasted through everything. I don't see how I can make a turn-based RPG that interesting after that first hurdle. So I'm not like too excited to make that video anyway. I would eventually like to finish it, but I haven't done that run for like four months because I haven't been able to get an update. And like, and this is kind of, and I'm not really ragging on Small Ant, but he does a lot of these Pokemon runs and I... I can't really get interested in them too much. It's just all a lot of the the turn-based RPG runs just turn into grind until you can smash through it. So it's it's not something I'm that exciting to make, nor that I think I could make that entertaining. If I do make it, that's probably what it's gonna be. It's gonna be three minutes of me explaining what I did, and then just like I blasted through everything. I might say like some small things. But really, the most I got out of that was the Hoppip stuff. The Hop, and I, I've been saying this recently. People are like, holy shit, why are you doing this to yourself? You don't get much reward for it. Um, it's fun to do streams. I enjoy streaming. But, like, the Hoppip run is almost, has been, like, almost been made worth doing solely because i was put on the wiki by someone and what is hilarious to me is they did not i, I don't want to rag on them because they gave me so much joy but <laughs> they did on the damage calculation website it says it just says in two different places this formula is not correct refer to this video and they don't even <laughs> don't correct the formula at all they just say watch this sit through this 30 minute video where half of it doesn't give you the right equation <laughs> they just it's so fucking funny to me and it's just links to my video and it doesn't it's not linked to a timestamp it's just linked to the very beginning so you have to watch it's like say you're not you don't care about it at all. You just want to know the formula. You have to watch the whole 30 minute video or however long it is. And like half of it is me misleading people. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. I was like announcing it to like all my friends. I'm like, I'm on the Bulbapedia wiki. Oh gosh. What what's, what's really agonizing about that though is that I think I said this my friend, my old roommate and I, Chance, Chance is a, he's a genius. We went over that equation so many times, like hundreds of times. And all of a sudden, like in the 250th time or whatever, I found a mistake, or no, he probably found a mistake in it. So it's like, we went through it so many times and it's such a huge equation that these, there's so many potential rooms for error. So I'm so scared that some part of it's wrong, but we, Checked it so many times. He ran simulations. It was insane. And it, it would have been better if I could understand how the code was data mined. Or, excuse me, understand. Well, not. So, like, I, I, com I confirmed a lot of it with, like, data mine code, code and really chance did. But, like, the language of the coding was not that difficult for me to understand. It The problem was I don't understand how to navigate GitHub. So. That was a huge problem. <sighs> okay, it's getting hot. Someone asked why I'm wearing a hat inside. I like wearing hats. That's You can wear hats. This is not even like an outside hat. It's like a, uh, it's like a, uh, it's like a more fancy hat. But also, I'm really don't want to fix my hair or do anything. And I'm really self-conscious about my hair. And it's fucking a struggle because i have colics everywhere and it's hard to make it look like anything passable but the, i just got this hat for christmas and i love it i haven't had a hat in like five years that was worth wearing and so i'll probably be wearing this hat for a long time my sound is back i just noticed that why Oh, the reason I'm in this claw grip, I just realized, is so that I can run while moving the camera. 
So I don't know how you would run without... How? That would have been so clutch if I, I had done that with my mouth. I can't plug it in easily because I'm using a laptop and it's on a stack of books. So I had to like put counter force to actually plug it back in. That would have been so fucking cool if I was able to do that. I was like seeing the video. I was seeing, I was seeing the scene in the video. I, sh I should just, I should just put it in and say I actually did that. Who's going to fucking know? <laughs> Joking. Uh... Oh, oh, thank you for right when I said, oh, my game audio is back for killing my game audio. <laughs> uh, thank you. Muchos gracias. Kurzerg isagt. Um, oh, so this is, I need to find a better way to do this. But you'll notice it says, does it say? It says $1 song requests. What the fuck does that mean? Well, it's it's like if you've watched any other stream or whatever, it's like you put, you know, you put a song in and yay, it plays a song. The reason it's so quote unquote cheap is because, well, one, I don't get many donations, but two, um, because it's on watch together, you can't force people to listen to it on stream. <laughs> uh, you'll always be able to force me to listen to it. Um, but that's what that is, if, in case anyone's wondering. And I keep a list of people who have song requests. There's people, there's regulars in the chat who have like 20, 20 song requests. But um, we need to figure out a better way to like enter it so that I don't have to stop the stream, find the link and put it into watch together. Maybe I could put a mod in watch together, but I also feel like that's just a lot of work for someone who, you know, just wants to watch the stream. But I, I don't know, because I, I don't think I can't do that. So YouTube has been extremely rough with copyright stuff. But I know, like, Simple Flips does it, and I think Simple Flips actually has... He has some people that program stuff for him. I can't code that well um but i think he has stuff where like people can like send in a link and it automatically puts it in or some shit and it does all this copyright screening and stuff but <sighs> anyway but yeah i can i'm fine with listening to any music if you want me to reserve my opinion of the music i will but um otherwise uh during so this Minecraft run, which I guess I'm not spoiling. So here's the thing with my videos, which I don't think everyone will understand. Uh, you should always assume that I beat the challenge. <laughs> uh, no, but you should assume that... Why do I have seven... I just have 7,000 souls. Man, I'm really terrified of the flame dude. <laughs> I almost got super greedy there. Anyway, um... You should assume, you should, I'm not really going to do this anymore. So with the Smash Bros video, I, you know, trick for people that are spoiled, uh, if you don't want to be spoiled, close your ears for the next two minutes. But I, I, I put in there like I had failed the challenge. Like the counter goes up, it says I have 10 jumps in there. And then there's a huge twist at the end where I go back and I solve all the issues with the ultimate technique. Um, which they get excited because in the new Smash Bros video that I'm going to be making for Super Smash Bros Melee, there was another ultimate technique. Um, I found it pretty early, so it's not going to be a twist. But it's I'm so fucking proud of it. The best thing about the ultimate techniques is I just hear people using these stupid-ass acronyms and it gives me such joy. 
Oh, it's so good. Um, anyway. What was I going with this? Where was I going with this? There, I went on a tangent and then... <clears throat> I don't know what I was what I was doing. <sighs> I didn't so he is just I should always assume he's right on my ass. I'm trying to get this figured out. I'm sorry. I, I actually didn't even hear that one. Thank you again for 20. Wow. But anytime you want to use the song, Rex, is fine. Um, usually while... Fu if you want me to give you, like, insight into me analyzing the music, it's probably the best to do it while farming, and I can, like, f fully pay attention to it. Is it still up? Okay, good. Thank you. It's very much appreciated. Still just want to give you a smooch for being my favorite YouTuber of 2021. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get this figured out. Um, I uh, Too wrong. I really think it won't happen on my new PC. I think it's a Mac issue combined with my microphone. Hopefully it's not a microphone issue, which is what I think it is. It, in some regards, but I don't think Streamlabs is going to be able to fix it without giving or updating the firmware or whatever. Ugh. Also, thank you for uh, thank you for notifying me that the mic went. Yeah, that time I didn't even hear it. One time I was saying, let's see if I can recite the entire Hoppip uh, equation by memory, and I did pretty well. And like, but right when I started, someone donated. It was just all cut. Ah, oh, fucking Streamlabs. Anyway, very much appreciated. Um. Oh, fuck me. Why did that happen? Why? That just felt, like, so impossible. Like, I got a sense, not of fear, but just, like, I am going to die, no matter what. Such a strong sense of, like, it is inevitable right there. Why does Rem kill the mic? Who's Rem? I just found this cute picture of Ram with blue hair and I put her on there. Also, if anyone's wondering, I think I said this before, ReZero is my, my favorite piece of artwork ever. I could go on and on and on about how deep it is. It's mostly from my interest as a psychology kind of guy. Gosh, it's so... I can't get into that right now. I could just... Hours. Hours. I spent... I do... I have another friend who's obsessed with it. And we just analyze it for hours. <gasps> and I get... Uh, my friend gave me a sort of non-cringy t-shirt to celebrate it. It has Japanese on it, so it's kind of cringe. But it doesn't have anything else. <sighs> anyway. Um, someone asked me what's my favorite color. Depends what... It is being used for. Generally, though, my favorite color used to be teal. Generally, now, my favorite color is, like, the vaporwave-ish kind of colors. Like, the light blue, purple. So, let me look at my overlay. Like, all the colors in my overlay right now are kind of my favorite colors. <sighs> I wouldn't say it's pastel. No, it's got, like, like some electric energy in it, I guess. That sounds really pretentious. I wouldn't say pastel, though. I actually don't like pastel in the way that I understand it. But I think out of all of those, purple is really, like, my favorite.
Are you watching the new season? I haven't watched part two yet. I hated... Well, I didn't... Mm, I was extremely disappointed with the... Season two, part one. Uh, I read the books, not the manga, the books. Or, sorry, I read the rough drafts of the books, which is kind of awful. I felt, even as someone who knows all the story, it was incredibly confusing, and I didn't know what was going on, and the animations are so fucking lazy. I could go on and on. I can just point it to, like, specific parts. However, however, the, the flashback trial he did that i'm gonna start crying it is so perfect it is oh, i get very emotional it is absolutely perfect that episode is the oh whew, it's just so good um season one though is really good no ho 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 andy have you seen platform Simple Flips has trained me to just interpret everything as a Ligma joke. Platform this dick in your ass. No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't. I tried to read Berserk. I didn't give it too much effort, but I couldn't get into it. But uh, I'm going to try at some point. Yeah, uh, so, actually, I forgot. T well, I have to say ReZero is my favorite just because of how deep it is. Or at least how deep I can make it. But yes, my, my second favorite is Kaguya-sama, which I have not watched the second season, purely because I only watch that when I am extraordinarily depressed. Um, but Kaguya-sama is, is one of my absolute favorites in every regard. I haven't, yeah. So I've only seen, I've only, and I, I don't even watch full episodes. I only watch parts because I want to savor it. I'm a bit, that's not at all the button I wanted to press. What game was I trying to play? I don't know what game, I, game, I just switched to a different game controls and I don't know what game that was. Oh, fuck you, I <laughs> That, that's that's what hurts about this fight is the fucking insane homing of that guy's bullshit. Please! I can't believe that doesn't hit more than... Camera went crazy there. I think part of it was my fault. I might have accidentally squished button. <sighs> yeah, Kaguya-sama is one of my... That's love is war. So I'm a big rom-com guy. I absolutely love it. I love rom-coms and then s pretty dark shit. Especially if the dark shit is mixed with good shit. Like ReZero. Um, someone asked if I watched One Piece. I do not solely because it is so much of it. Um, I do read it though and I watch like highlights. I am not caught up though. Which What sucks is you forget the characters so quickly because there's just a million of them. But yeah. I hate what I'm listening to, by the way. I've always hated this song. I feel like a lot of people hate this song. Or they are... they In, in middle school, they listen to this song, so they love it. Middle school girls. When this song came out. It's, it's, it's a rip of... Uh, Fireflies, by the way, is what is playing. <laughs> Bro, One Piece gets good after episode 30,000. Just watch it. I watched up to episode 250 when I was a kid. That show is the same age as me, I believe. Just about. Speaking of which, that reminds me. Um, whatever Wednesday, February 3rd is, I will almost certainly not be streaming because that is me birthday. But I will be, uh, I will be moving the stream to some other day. Fuck off! I hate this guy. I hate him. He is now officially number one enemy of this game. <laughs> you piece of shit. He is the first thing to make me genuinely angry in this run. Double tap? Triple tap? Quadruple tap? 
Get fucked, idiot. Now I must run. I just hallucinated an entire section of the map that wasn't there, and I almost went for it. Uh, probably wasn't the best idea. That's fine, though. So, I guess I should kill... How fast is he? Uh, he's a little bit faster, you piece of shit. Oh, I know... That's right. I remember he's stretchy arm. Can I move, please? Can I not jump, please? I really like what I'm listening to right now. Oh, that's what happened last time. Can I... I'm wondering if I can completely stunlock him. Yo! If the problem is he's got such range that I can't get close to him necessarily. Uh, okay. Can't get hit again. Run, 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 run. I'm glad I didn't have to farm that much. Um, I only have nine blood vials. How many do I need? I can probably sacrifice one. I just want to have peak health so I don't get one shot. This guy's fireballs. What? Excuse me? Ah, oh, if I had got him there, he would have been just dead. I would have completely blown him away. What did I say? I don't think I said what I meant to say. The problem was the, the flame dude. No, it wasn't. Never mind. I'm wrong. Don't act like a fucking Gwyn. Holy shit. Yo! Um, I may die here. Oh, my finger hurts from smashing this. I bet I kill this guy, and then I get, like, fucking destroyed by this other dude trying to kill him. <sighs> yeah, that's what I thought I'd have to do. That's aggravating. Can I... How do I want to play this? I'm running out of, uh, attacks, by the way. Good music for boss battle. Why did he stop? Oh! oh! I don't. What am I doing? <sighs> Shit! I told you. I, so what is that attack? I don't know it. I thought it was in a certain area. What, 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 what are you supposed to do for that attack? It's not what I remember. You just dodge it in real life. That's how you get good at the game. Um, I don't know if I updated the, I don't think I did. I didn't see the attack. Don't kill two and leave one guy. Okay, yeah. Okay, what did I want to write about that? Oh, they're dodging. Uber dodge. Um, I don't know if I can do that, though. Because I'm getting so... Con I can't say that word. I forgot. C-U-N-K-E-D. I cannot say that word. Uh, YouTube reads it as something else and does something to you. <sighs> That's a simple flips word. I take a lot from him. He's my, he's my fave. He's good. He's also a challenge runner in some respects, which, put this in your watch later, right now. Simple flips green demon challenge is incredible it is amazing 
and it's oh, it's good. Not the red coins one, his full green demons challenge. He just finished it. Incredible. Um, Irako said something that I wanted to check out. <laughs> People keep saying use Pegpa. Hori, Hori Mia. I will look it up. <sighs> okay. We. He says, the remaining shadow gains an extra ability, a new summoning ability where he will pause for a moment, develop a crimson aura, and cause several enormous serpents to rise from the surface. I, I, don't, I, I don't feel like I will be able... I, I don't feel like I'll be able to do that. Like... Holy shit, all of a sudden all this good music came on. Ooh, that synth is sexy. Holy shit. Ooh! Oh, that is good. I see everyone come on. <laughs> Holy shit, that like lick was so sexy. Oh, oh gosh. And it ended just, oh, I'm getting emotional again. It ended just how I wanted it to. Oh, oh, okay, I'm ready. I'm not ready, I don't, damn it. I was all like psyched up and now I have to go farm blood vials. Bullshit. Um, I also came in here Welcome to not home. talk to you. Um... So the, uh, if you want to know how to put the, if you want to listen to music on mobile, I don't think you can, unfortunately, but it is, uh, it is in, ah, oh, fuck, I'm crying. It's in, it's that link, whatever, HTTPS, whatever, Challenger Andy music, but it's in the description though. It should be. I mean, people are getting here, so. Um, so if anyone has any better idea how to do this, but Kurz is skipped. If you want to request the song, I guess I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be doing some farming for a while. So this is actually a good time. Fuck that song was, that lick was so good. Oh, you can, um, just send me the title or... I don't think you can post links in here is the problem. You can try, but you'll have to find a YouTube link or something and I can type it in and I can put it in. But each dollar is worth five minutes of a song. Unless it's like the best song I've ever heard and then I'll give you some more. But, um, oh, I need those pebbles. Oh, something really interesting says I just thought about this. I'm not going to be doing this because I actually I'm going to write this down real quick because this will be really helpful for someone else that wants to do uh, a harder version of this run. So if you remember in my old Gwyn run, I talked about how the Estus would bait the Gwyn's into doing certain movements or whatever. And you can also do the same thing with items. I was watching this guy do the consumables only run. His name is like Blizz Gioga. It's, it's just Blizz, but whatever. Um, and I noticed that he had all these bolt papers in his quick item menu. And I was like, that's really suspicious. Is he lying to us? Did he not do it all consumable only? So I asked him, I said, why do you have the bolt papers in your quick item bar? And he said, oh, that was to do the baiting. So the same thing I was doing. And for him, I, I didn't see where he used it, but um, it, it makes sense. So what I was writing down is if someone wants to do the all matter as whistle, which I probably don't want to do. Um, this would probably be extremely helpful because I imagine, like, imagine you can bait Orphan to do this every time, like a long jump thing. And then you fucking, uh, you just put him right into Matter's Whistle. But anyway, Atomic Karate by T. 
WRP. TWRP. I wonder if this works if I do this. Is this it? Instant vaporwave vibes. I feel like someone else has has uh, <laughs> uh I feel like someone else has what? Oh, talked about this song. Uh when someone donates a song I'll try to give some extra attention to it. <laughs> okay. I feel like someone has donated this before. I know someone just like this. This is cute. I had to get in the right headspace. What am I, what did I want to do here? I wanted to sell stuff here for some reason. Oh, I was going to up my vitality. I'm going to less, I'm going to try not glass cannon this as hard. Sorry, just give me one minute. What am I trying to do? Oh. Okay, sorry, I need to, what am I doing here? What is that? That sounded very specific. Just that those few notes. Is it is it the me? Sounds like something we something. Uh, something on the we that is a me or something. <laughs> Ooh, I like that a lot. So what's unfortunate? I think my reactions is like four seconds delayed for the music. I like the uh, the modulation on the synth. I don't know what armor to sell. Gosh, that hits my brain so hard. Like the end of when he sings, it's some game. I don't think that bass is real. It makes me sad. <laughs> this is cute, I like this. Yeah, the music you can't hear unless you're in the watch together, unfortunately. Just because of YouTube or copyright stuff. Yeah, it's a little crowded in here. It's a little sad. I'll have to, I, I might put on slow mode. I I don't want to act like I'm gonna get that popular. But uh definitely I wanna make it so the regulars like two wrong, Senator Cockstrong, and some other people that have been here since the beginning have are able to chat all the time. But the only problem is I don't think I can do that unless I make them moderators. And although powerful, he is not always the most just Senator Cockstrong. <laughs> what am I doing? I think I'm ready, right? That was nice. I enjoyed that. Thank you. I, why no trust Mr. Cock? Because he's too chaotic evil. What am I... Okay, okay, okay. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Wow, I didn't really... I can't level up that much, can I? Very well. See, this comes with the cost of uh, lowering my... Uh, or it, it takes longer to get my attack up. 
That added like fucking that much to my health. Cool. Thanks. Farewell, good hunter. May you. F I'm wondering if I just get a little bit more, I won't get one shot. That's that's always the question. He's jealous of your basketball-sized nuts. <laughs> Oh, Senator Coxstone's still here. I thought he might be. I do miss you in the Discord, Coxstrong. Soon. Just wait. Just be patient. I wish I had something to sell. I'm, I'm nervous about selling any of this stuff in case I want to use it. Wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's why I'm getting one shot, because I just had... I was like, I was like, wait, it's not because I'm not putting shit into vitality. It's because I'm wearing the doll's clothes. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Uh, damn, I don't want to farm. It looks like we're probably not going to beat Yarnum today. The shadows of Yarnum. I guess I can keep trying. I just don't like to stay up too late. Good or not. Yeah, the Discord link is on the screen, is it not? Oh. Oh, oh hold on. I forgot to do this. Okay, good. Oh, shit. I had to make sure the I didn't fuck up anything with the uh, recording. I thought I posted the Discord. Yeah, it's there. Oh, yeah, it's right there. U2YHXJM. I think that works. What time is it over there? Oh, did I die? Um, it is 9.23 p.m. Interesting. I'm having a dilemma with having 11,000 echoes. Ugh, I have to go back. See you, caveman. Thanks for coming. I don't know the mess that you are up to right now, but good luck. <laughs> it's just farming now, again. I'm from Wakanda. Ooh, Caravan Palace. I haven't heard them in a long time. I have a lot of feelings about uh, Electro Swing as a jazzer. Um... This Frank Zappa right now is pretty good. Caravan Palace is one of the better ones, though. The link doesn't show for you? It should be... with a... This boy? Oh, no. What did I just move? One of the best things about... What is this? What is... Oh. Hello. <laughs> That's what that is. Yeah, thank you, Denton. I guess I could put it in the description, but I don't know if I want the Discord that big. Was that patches? Yeah. You'll see in the highlight video why he's not on the screen anymore. This is the strongest side chaining I've heard in a long time. I should use this as an example. Oh, I guess I'm not teaching anymore. I'm not going. I'm going the wrong place. So, this is all right. Um, I just generally, it's probably just, I can't, it, 
the jazz the jazzer in me makes me not want to um they they make me not want to what what was i saying sorry the jazzer in me the jazz musician in me kind of makes me not want to like electro swing because the it's not true improvisations yet they call themselves swing and <sighs> it's hard for me to say this but um any time an instrument is faked i almost always hate it um especially if it's trumpet it's hard for me to say that because my favorite musician is millie who uses a lot of fake instruments except except her newest release i forgot i'm so excited she she's coming out with a new game i'm so excited I won't be able to play it for a few years. I'm so excited. Anyway. I didn't hear the trumpet in this. I wasn't paying too I'm just talking about Electro Swing in general. Um, your shit simp is showing. Yeah, the only one I simp for. Yes, Stevie Wonder is a jazz musician. He does a lot more pop now. Um... Yeah, it's kind of hypocritical for me to say because Millie uses a fake violin in, like, all of her shit. <laughs> yeah, this is alright compared to a lot of Electro Swing I've heard. I tried to get into it when I was in high school and I was not liking it. Is this a new Caravan Palace song? Because I feel like I listened to a lot of the old Caravan Palace. To run. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I have very strong musical opinions, but don't take them too seriously. Usually, if I say something's bad, what I, us I mean, and I'm not saying that was bad, but when I say something's bad, I mean... I do not like it. Is that what I mean? I, I never mean like the musicians themselves are bad or made it poor. It's like I personally don't like it. I have very specific. Yeah, it's on the newest album. I can tell because I feel like I didn't like old Caravan Palace, but that was felt a little better. <sighs> like the space group. Yeah, so for those wondering, I primarily a trumpet player but i'm self-taught on bass guitar piano i'm not really good at either of them but i also self-taught on didgeridoo i have one more is my didgeridoo here oh there's one of them here i'm not gonna play it tonight because it's a little late um but i'm self-taught on didgeridoo and i have in my assessment i have one more thing to learn before i am considered proficient at it but I just can't wrap my head around it. My brain doesn't want my breathing to work that way. Okay, so this is actually pretty precise. Recently had your challenge recommended. The quality of your videos is up there with the larger Souls gaming YouTubers. I hope a lot more people stumble on your work too. Thanks. I appreciate it. If only my streams were as good. I don't consider myself the best streamer, but it's better than doing this all alone. <sighs> Are we supposed to be in read-only mode on Discord? Shit. Um, I'll have to figure that out. I'll figure it out later, but you should be able... So we don't use the voice chat there. We mostly use the text chats. But the uh, the the issue is, I don't know how Discord works. I still don't. Um, it's actually set up by another guy. Um, so I'll need to talk to him, but it shouldn't be that way. I think I might know why. Django Reinhardt is my man. You know, I don't know if I listen to enough of him. 
I, I feel like I have, and here's the funny thing. I, for the most part, don't like jazz guitar, especially modern jazz guitar. I think it all sounds the same. I don't like the... It just, it puts me off, like, the actual tone of the guitar. I feel like, if I remember correctly, because I studied a bunch of jazz guitarists, I feel like I liked Django Reinhardt. I really appreciated him, but it was not, like, the kind of music I would listen to regularly. But I was like, yeah, this is good. I enjoy it. Who is, uh, who's the guy that played with his thumb all the time? He's pretty fucking good. Or, I mean, I liked him. I mean, I obviously, Django, I, you can't really say you hate him. Or dislike him. Who's the guy that played with his thumb? And he, he started playing, and his he, his wife hated him playing, so he went out to the shed. And he was, like, he was like in his 30s or 40s. What's his name? Shit. He played with his thumb. Gosh. Um... I can only think of Django now. What is that fucking guy's name? Um, but anyway, when I was the admin of shitposting of jazz to come, I would post things where I'd say, I do not like jazz guitar, change my mind. And like a bunch of people posted. Um, really didn't like most jazz guitar. I think one of the guys I liked was Tim Miller. And who's the other guy? Pat Martino really liked him same thing with trombones i generally don't like trombones and it's funny the trombones i do like sound like trumpet players like i like jj johnson there was another guy but he sounds like too he's like too crazy west montgomery thank you thank you thank you yeah i like west montgomery so millie yes millie m-i-l-i -I. millie is my favorite musical group I is the only thing I ever simp for. She is... Oh, I fucking love her. I love her and I love her pianist. Or, and main composer. They are both amazing. So, do you like King Crimson? One of my friends absolutely loves King Crimson. I've had him... I've played it in the stream... But the, the music is too complicated for me to put in streams to, like, accurately say how I feel about it. So I have not listened to enough of King Crimson to form an opinion. I did listen to one album and it wasn't good, but my guy was like, nah, dude, it's... Pianist. Pianist. Mil the Millie I'm talking about is Chi uh, Chinese-Canadian. What is Millie's best song? Depends what you're looking for. Um, best song is probably... Someone said damn rip. They just got here. They haven't seen... <gasps> he has my... He's got my main guy. He's Avery has one of my favorite fucking characters of all time. That boy. The Carnberries or the Cranberries? Uh, what was I talking about? Millie's best song. It depends what you like. If you want classical music, it will te it's technically cheating because it's Yamato Kasai. Best song by him is... I don't know if I can say this on YouTube. Because it sounds a tiny bit suspicious, but it's, I swear it's not. It's called The Black Vulgar Buffoon Was Crying, I think it's called. Weird title. If you like... If you like piano, Rapid Fire is insanely good. I was um, I was arranging it for trumpet. Um, if you like choral music, he here's the thing about Millie. Her voice is really high, and in a lot of songs it's very childlike. Or she likes to sing very high. So a lot of people are put off by it initially. Like, I didn't like her at first, and then I realized how insane her composing was. So when I recommend it to people, I recommend her kind of lower songs. So if you like jazz, this is a song where she sings in her lower register, and I wish she always would. Um, it's called... What is it called? I think it's just called Library of Ruina. R-U-I-N-A. For Calicious. Yeah. 
I can get to that later. And also, someone's asking me about metal. I know who it is asking me about metal. I just, Kurds, I can't pronounce your name. Just hold on. Um, I, I really want to push Millie. It, the problem is it's not for everyone. Because of her voice is so high. And I try to direct people from the anime sort of songs. Because they're... I mean, they're not really anime. But some people get that impression. So... My personal favorites, if you, if you don't want to go, like, the ones that are risky for people to listen to her, excuse me, and get in, um, I think my personal favorites are Library of Ruina, because it's fucking jazz, and it's amazing, and I would pay, like, a thousand dollars to her if she were to make a whole album of it. Um... Is a, is a tune called Slot, S-L-0-T. Galahad and Scientific Wish, Witchery is another one. There, it's just really, it's, it's kind of hard. It's hard to like, I'm so scared that people won't like her. That's why I usually push them towards the instrumental stuff first. And then her lower register. Oh, and then there's another song if you like choral music some people says it sounds really childlike i don't really hear that i just hear very soprano but some people think it sounds like kids singing but it's called what is it called uh sacramentum unaccompanied hymn for torino i know these are really hard names uh but i actually wrote that for trumpet and the last time i played trumpet i played that with a group summoning 101 is really good Yeah, Millie is super great, but it's hard to, like, get get into if you find the wrong things. Because I found, like, the wrong things. I was like, I do not like this. And now she's, like, my absolute favorite. And what's funny is the way I got into her was... Oh, that's why I'm doing this. Uh, on a game called Demo. It's, like, basically Guitar Hero for piano, sort of. Um... My roommate showed me this song called Celebrite. And it's funny because Celebrite almost sounds like it's made poorly. Like it sounds like it's compressed and shit. Um, but I listened to that song and was like, holy shit, that's amazing. And now it's like one of my least favorite songs that she's made. It's funny because she, she makes a lot of other songs. And I'll look at the title and I'll be like, Halloween Town. I'm like... I love her, but I know I'm gonna hate this, and I listen to it, I'm like, yep, I, I knew it. I fucking hate it. Um, huh, I love Millie so much. My second favorite band, closely followed, is The Deer Hunter. And that's very important. D-E-A-R. I almost missed out on this band because I was looking at a different, a different, um, band called D-E-E, D-E-E-R Hunter, which is an experimental rock band. The Deer Hunter, D-E-A-R, is also one of my favorite bands. I think he is one of the the best composers I have, or best and most versatile composers I have ever heard in my life. So opinions on metal. I don't generally like it. If it kind of sounds like Metallica or like Iron Maiden, I get the sense of like kind of fantasy sort of stuff. And I'm just not really into it. And, you know, like, I can appreciate a lot of the music. But, like, I can't... Something just puts me off. And, again, hypocritical. Because Millie, Millie's three subjects are, like, food. Which I'm not really care for. I don't care for food that much. Funny enough. Fantasy stuff. And, like, super fucking dark shit. I think those are her three categories. Um, but, am I, have I been doing this right? I've been kind of going into autopilot mode. I hope I've been actually grabbing these things and not just killing this guy. <sighs> um, that's kind of how I feel about metal. Now, I do like art metal and art rock and, like, progressive hardcore to an extent. Really, I just, like, fucking tool... <laughs> tool and i like hail the sun to an extent the thing is i don't do well with like nihilistic stuff <laughs> millie is forgiven because simp power <laughs> um uh 
I, I know Metallica. I just get that feeling from Metallica. Also, like, if you're wondering, like, how the sh how the hell does he not like Metallica? They wrote one. Obviously, I fucking love one. Um, but anyway, well, I guess this is another contradiction, but I don't do well with, like, nihilistic stuff and, like, really, like, fucking soul-crushing stuff. So that's, like, Hail the Sun I can't really listen to that much because their shit is, like, super fucking depressing. And also now it's, like, extremely politically charged. But, um... I haven't listened to Dio. I actually need to put him on my list. Thank you for reminding me. Um... Yeah, I got you, Kursk. Also, I got into Zappa a lot, but now I feel like I've kind of listened to too much of him, and I found there's a lot of shit. There is some great Zappa, and there's a lot of shit Zappa. Um, is this one it? I'm kind of doing this a fast way. Oh, you know what his teeth look like? They look like the boys from Horizon Zero Dawn. Ooh, I like the backing vocals. That's tasty. Yeah, but like, if you want, if you know Hail the Sun, I like that amount of screaming in my music. I don't like any more than that. Musical screaming, not like death metal. Ooh! I love this style of voice. This reminds me of the Deer Hunter, actually. Ooh, yeah. I really like this, actually. I really fucking like this. This is really good. I'm getting emotional again. Holy shit, that's really fucking good. I love this. I've heard every Millie song. I would, I'll give you like 10 song requests or whatever the fuck you want if you find me a Millie song I haven't heard. I have gone translated Japanese sites. I have, there, you cannot find me a Millie song I haven't heard. I have listened. I have found her old YouTube channel and have listened to all her Vocaloid shit. Even though I hate Vocaloid shit, I love her so much I listen to it all. And not only that, if you're a real true Millie fan, she <laughs> and this is how if she ever came in this chat which is my fucking fantasy dream to confirm that it's her i guess no i can't say it then because then all you would know the answer and you could play tricks on me there's a specific song she has that is so crazy that no one knows about it except like a thousand people and i have like thought about this situation um but you can find I think her channel's called Momo Cashew. I don't like almost all of the music. Almost all of the music on it, I actually don't like. And this song I'm talking about, I don't like, but it is so hilarious hearing her do it. And if you truly love her, you'll you'll know it. Because I hate Vocaloid. This is really, really fucking good. I will probably check this band out and I'll refund you your song request because that is I love this I always said if someone gives me something that is like really fucking good the only thing is sometimes I get a little too excited and then I listen to the rest of everything they made I'm like eh huge fuh <laughs> I'll play what's huge fuh Dude, fucking, if Cassie Way, I keep doing that. If Cassie Way comes into my chat, I will start crying on stream. Huge fu fucking nuts, yeah. Do you listen to any Turkish songs by chance? Um, I can't say definitively. Well, I mean, I do have Turkish songs. But if you're a jazzer, I listen to Don Ellis. He is my favorite jazz musician. He's my third favorite musician. He was just, only from the past three years, Millie and Deer Hunter have been able to change my mind. But 
Yeah. Um, I listen to some Turkish stuff. It's kind of funny because my tastes for jazz are more avant-garde. What's the secret Millie song? You're going to have to listen to every single song in her channel. You'll know what I mean when you hear it. It's an experimental song. But I can't give it up because I don't want people fucking playing with my heart. I guess I could just ask multiple questions. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll find it. I'll put it in the playlist. Um, so let me confirm. So she used to go by Momo Cashew. I could give you a whole fucking history lesson on her. Uh, Cashew. Okay, yeah. yeah her channel's just Momo Cashew. Oh, I should, subs I should subscribe to her channel with this account, too. Yeah, she hasn't posted anything there for four years. Found it. Here is the secret song. For people who cannot hear it, it is called Chase the Light. Then a bunch of either Japanese or Chinese, I can't tell. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This is the only song that she's ever made like this. I, I don't like it, but it is hilarious. But this is one of the questions I'd ask to confirm her identity. Is this song. <laughs> so don't gain your opinion of this as Millie. <laughs> oh god. She's like, my voice hurts so much after this. Did I kill this thing? I did. This is from a song? This is from Hunter x Hunter? Oh, she covered it. That's why. Okay. I was like, there's no way they, they put this in a show. I got you, Cockstrong. Oops. Telephone line by Elo. Yeah, that's enough of that. Uh, I found nothing on that channel I really like. Oh, but Sacramento actually might be on there. I guess I should try and beat the boss again. I got you cock strong, that sounds wrong. Someone asked me, oh, someone asked me if I liked punk. I used to when I was a kid. I don't know now. I will tell you, though, one of my lists, because I've been going through different genres recently in order to find new music. I listen to post-punk, and I can tell you I fucking hate post-punk. Holy shit, I hate it. I hate everything about it. It sounds like you take every part of punk that is bad, and you make that, you separate it from the good parts, and then you have post-punk. I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but I feel very strongly. You can change my mind if you have something better, but I hate post-punk. Gosh, with a burning passion. I sat through like four fucking hours of it. Punk, though, I probably will like... Maybe. I was, uh... I, when I was a kid, my favorite band was Green Day. It's the first CD I ever got. Which, following that, um... Or following, following that? I don't know what phrase I want to even use here but um letter bomb I think or is it homecoming one of those they're both super good I think it's oh, weird. homecoming is my one of my favorite songs dragon force don't really care for I only listen to it when I listen to like an album when um
This sounds like a Beatles song. Cockstrong. I listened to Dragon Force when Guitar Hero 3 came out. So whatever they put out then. That that is kind of exemplifies kind of the metal I don't really care for. Daft Punk, I don't like. At least what I've heard, because it sounds like all their songs should be 30 seconds long. Because it's just a four measure loop. Power Wolf, haven't heard of them. I don't think. La Campanella. Noticed by Moshe. I feel like I've heard that first one. We'll see after this one. Oh, is it is Power Wolf the one that does? Is Power Wolf the one that does? No, it no, it's not. Oh, it is. Okay, is that what Power Wolf is? <laughs> da, 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 that one. <laughs> Rightfully by Millie, I believe has. <gasps> Did you know they have a vocal range chart for Millie for Cassie Way? My favorite part of Rightfully is when she goes, Peace, bye, and she goes so low. I love Rightfully. Yeah, I have like bootleg Millie songs. Like I have, I have cleaned everything from her. There are like a few artists where I will find literally everything. I know like, like for like Don Ellis, I've talked to people like from the band. I've like scouted them out. Or like my other favorite band, Chase. I've like talked to like their the surviving members. I was like, where are the fucking bootlegs? I go a little crazy for some people. There, I only have like, there's only, how many bands am I like that for? Millie, Deer Hunter, Don Ellis. Millie, Deer Hunter, Don Ellis. Is there another one? Oh, Chase. Is there another trumpet player? Probably not. Um, do I like that? It was, it was all right. It's just not my style of music. I don't think it's bad. It's just not my st style. Yes, uh, Millie is the maker of the Goblin Slayer opening. Oh, Sabaton. That's what I was thinking of, not Power Wolf. This guitar riff's really good. What is this? Oh, I don't know what band this is. La Campanella. La Campagne. Why can't I pronounce this? La Campagne. Why am I struggling so much? I just want to see. I feel like I've heard this song or I know a song that's like this. Oh, yeah. Actually, someone's donated this song before. I think. I can't remember my opinion of it, so I'll do the other one. The name of God. Yeah. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, it... okay. This is really funny. When you said Mo Shop, I was thinking of like an old barber not named Mo, not this weeb bullshit. But we'll put it on. It better be good. So if you're wondering what kind of music I'm into right now, or like my favorite genres, I'm really into. I'm really into. <laughs> It's it's good, Cockstrong. I just it's not my my style. Oof, I, I, there's a little bit of judge in this one. Thanks, Denton. I appreciate the reminder. So just before I go in, my favorite types of music are whatever the fuck Millie does. That kind of like classical sort of stuff. I'm having a hard time finding stuff like that. Artcore. I really like, but there's no one that makes good art core. There, I, I want to get into that. There's some. There's one guy I know that's fucking crazy. Um. So, whatever classical Millie does, I'm having a hard time trying to find the genre. Art core. Uh, indie rock. I'm really into indie pop, math rock. Um, in jazz, I like hard bop. I despise bebop to some degree. Avant-garde jazz, but really specific types, mostly with time signature stuff. I've been getting into kind of neo-soul somewhat. 
and art rock anything arty i have the happy birthday song i actually don't like but i guess i i could get into that how about within you mean within by millie that one's pretty that's that's about b tier millie it's s tier anything else but it's b tier millie i forgot how to play the game Again, a lot of side chaining. Interesting. I haven't heard this strong of side chaining in a long time. Because I, when I was talking about side chaining with my students, I was having a hard time finding something. Is Two Wrong still here? You could probably explain side chaining better than me. Side chaining is basically when you like connect. You connect a a song so let's say a kick drum D daft punk is really does this a lot you connect uh, like a kick drum to it's kind of hard to describe is anyone can anyone explain side chaining better than i can so you hear how like the wave the synth it's like a wave it goes voom 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 and it's it, it's kind of hard on the kick, so every time the kick happens, it t basically turns down sometimes the entire song, but usually like synths and stuff, so that that kick is really strong and isolated, and then it kind of makes a bounce to the music. It's more of a new, well, using it the way I'm talking about um, is kind of a newer thing in music, newer as in in the last 20 years. But you also use it for commercials. So if like you have like background music or whatever, and then the guy starts talking, it'll be side chained to his voice so that his vocals come in clear without like stopping or turning down the music manually a bunch. But yeah, the fuck am I listening to now? What did this just come up? That wasn't the worst thing. It wasn't total cringe. <laughs> fuck off. Is this fucking post-punk? I bet it fucking is. This is what it sounds like. Uh, I'm giving up on this. On that particular attempt. I didn't like that. <sighs> Someone asked if I'm a teacher. I am a sub- I w am- was a substitute teacher. But yeah. I hate what I'm listening to. What is this? Ah, oh, the instrumentals are good though. There's some songs that I put in here that are a little too complicated for me to like be playing a game and accurately assess. I hate, hate this. This is like post-punk. Let me see if I'm right.
So, of course, the moment I go into a long speech and am doing something where I can't see chat is the moment I get turned off. Thank you, Yeet Drizzle. I'm assuming that's supposed to be a a play on that tree, but I can't pronounce it. I know how to spell it. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you. What are you hoping from From Software in Elden Ring? So here's a f there's no music and I feel alone. Let's let's skip sticks finger satellite for now and go back to p potentially shitty Frank Zappa. Um, you guys can hear me now, right? Oh, hold on. I'll get this song in. Providence. Poor man's poison. So. Is this it? Looks suspicious and looks like it's from 2006. The video, that is. Hmm. I like that. I can feel it in his throat. Yeah, I'll have to check these out. So, anyway, someone... Who, uh, I need to write down who donated. I might have to go soon. It's getting pretty late. Oh, no, don't do... Ah, oh, fuck me. I don't know if the watch together just broke for everyone. Sorry. I think if I do this, I'll reset. Sorry about that. Click the wrong button. This is going to be really fucking loud if I don't change this. I need to fix my audio settings so I don't get blasted. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Where's my... Yeet Drizzle. So, someone asked, what are you hoping for from FromSoft and Elden Ring? So this is going to probably piss you off. I don't know anything about Elden Ring at all. I refuse to look at trailers because I don't want to be spoiled in the slightest. And you're saying, Andy, a, a trailer doesn't spoil you, you dumb idiot. It gets you ready. True. <laughs> but look at that guy. Look at the guy that has been posting updates. He's at like 200 daily updates <laughs> for Elden Ring. Look at... That man is hollow. I don't want to be like him. He is so sad. <laughs> I don't want to be like him. <laughs> Elden Ring sounds like basic fantasy BS. Well, I mean, it is written with uh, that one dude who fucked up Game of Thrones. George R. R. Martin, whatever. Why don't you use the second elevator shortcut? I have no idea what you're fucking talking about. <laughs> what? That's cheap shot. I don't know what you, uh, what, I don't know what elevator shortcut. I don't know this game well. Is there a faster way? Um. Peace. Bye. Peace. The tables turn and turn again. Oh, I can't go that high. Um. Lowest song by Millie. <sighs> Let me look through and see if anything sticks out really fast. I'll list off any secret Millie tunes I have for any of the fanatics. Here's a secret tune, Millie and Arai Tasuku, Holy in Darkness. I also don't have all the secret tunes because I didn't like some of them. Um, Opusculum for violin and cymbalo is a secret tune, sort of. Relief is a secret tune. Do I have any other ones? Ghost in the Shell. I'm trying to see... I'll try and think if any of them stand out really quick. Um, she kind of talks in her regular register um, during Vitamins. Vitamins has a really interesting whoops, side story. Or not side story, backstory behind it. It's not really interesting. But there's a backstory behind it on her Twitter. 
Every other ghost, I think, is low. Oh, Galahad and Scientific Witchery piano only secret tune. Secret. When I say secret, I mean they're not well known. Main theme of Munica Cry of Pluto is another secret one. I don't really categorize. Um, Rosetta, she sings pretty fucking low at a lot of points. It's really cool. Sacramentum, uh, well, that's technically in Magmel. Static's instrumental version is a hidden tune. Sort of. Victim's piano edit is a secret tune. Yeah, none of these really stand out to me where I'm like, that is a low tune, so... Drifting Souls from Xenoblade 2. I hear a lot about this game. I know nothing about it. Um, I'm going to try a couple attempts on this guys, on, on these guys, and then I'm going to be done for the night. fuck it's giving me dark souls shit yeah some stuff is not as easy to look up um okay <gasps> i really need to fix the audio for myself it anything i turn on is like super loud <sighs> okay here it is I, I don't feel like I'm in the right mindset for this. I've kind of lost my concentration. It would have been better. That's a huge quote. That's not original at all. That beginning is not original. What is that? I know something that sounds exactly like that. Get fucked, you idiot. <laughs> Ah, oh, that intro is totally copied from somewhere. Anyway. I hated the ending of Game of Thrones. And then when I looked back at it, when people... And maybe it's just... Dude, I'm still alive! What the fuck was he doing? He was doing, like, fist bumps. I don't know what the shit that was. I feel like I know this singer, and... I feel like I've heard this singer before, and I'm not particularly a fan. Probably because I feel like I'm getting bad vibes, so I probably have like a bad memory associated with this. I feel like this sounds like an English singer who is actually can speak English that sings in Japanese stuff. I don't really know why I don't really like her voice that much. Just personal preference. It might it might be because it's given me is it R and B? I don't know. Damn blue tag keeps me from saying degenerate weeb things, really? Yo! Oh, I'm... Okay. Right. <sighs> Who's gonna stop you from doing so? The moderators? Wait, what? What happened? I felt like I was 
That was insane that I survived that. Um, I felt like I was staggered. Click the button, please. Yo! I, th I hate... This, this boss is easy. It is easy. It's just incredibly annoying. Just look how fast my... I really can't get hit. Oh wait, hold on. I can make this way easier for myself. Let's push the spaghetti into the wall. I had edamame uh, spaghetti for the first time on my new diet. Um, because I can't have pasta anymore. It's all right. It tastes like spaghetti, but um, just kind of has a weird kind of flavor to it. It's fine. If anyone's wondering, I this year not really as a New Year's resolution. It just kind of happened this way. But I like this part of the song, by the way. I like the flow, the overall structure of this particular part. Um. Piss off! Damn, that did a lot of damage. I this this I would have beat them. I bet maybe if I wasn't using the doll's clothes. But then I feel like it wouldn't be a challenge. What was I talking about? Um. Yeah. Yo. 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 Um. Oh. Ba da da da. I'm sure I just triggered a bunch of people with saying that. By saying that. Piss off! I mean, even, he's just, I, that's why I don't, I understand why they're needed, but I don't like iframes in games. I, I don't know. I like to play games. I, I never play games thinking about iframes. I like to think like I'm literally dodging over, like, swords and shit. It's way more fun, and... <sighs> what it would be in a perfect world this i feel like i failed this run just looking at my blood vial or not failed this run failed this attempt looking at my blood vial count <sighs> just everything almost one shots me yeah that ow that one hurt Do you date a chick or a dude? I feel like, for some reason, that's a loaded question. However I answer it. <laughs> yeah, I think leveling Vitality may have... made that good. Iraco, I don't think people know what you're talking. No one that when you when I was telling that story, there were only like five people watching me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're saying that, expecting more people to know what you're talking about. I was talking about something important. How many times it keeps resetting to this song? This is. I don't want to make a judgment. I kind of hate this. I'm going to listen to one more song by these guys, and if I hate it, I'm deleting them from the playlist. Yeah, Senator Cockstrong answered the question. And you know what, Cockstrong? I was thinking about it, and I was like, should I censor the word pussy? I don't know if I want that word coming from my mouth in an edited video. Because it'll give people the wrong idea. But. Poor, um. Please don't. Oh, fuck me. Come on, run. Where are the cross-dressing photos, Andy? I have the one and only cop. Well, do I? No, there's like five people that have copies of those. And I, oh, one of them would actually try and share it. 
I'm not sending. I'm not gonna put the cross-dressing photos. I, I might as a meme, but the super secret one I have deleted from existence. I don't think I even own a copy of it. There's a super secret cross-dressing photo with me holding my 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 breasts in the. Was I wearing a bra? I don't know if I was. People are wondering uh, what I'm talking about. Um. I was in a marching band in college and part of the trumpet section and we do a lip sync battle and the trumpet section has a theme every year of cross dressing. And because I believe giving max effort in something I loved, which was music, I had to go full out. So I always took the most hardcore cross dressing thing. And uh, the last time I did it, I spent around so people like practice for like maybe three hours total for this event. I practiced a total of 18 hours. Uh, no, it might have been more like 12. Practicing a K-pop dance, totally choreographed. And it was like a one minute performance. Sadly, the live performance of it kind of sucked ass. I fucked up a lot. But um, if anyone's wondering, if anyone likes K-pop, I sure as fuck don't. Um, it's called TT by someone but i learned like half the fucking dance i couldn't do it now surprisingly even though i spent that much time practicing it but i was also in a skirt i can't remember if i was wearing a bra or not but i definitely had women's shoulderless fucking t-shirt on not t-shirt shirt is that a shirt i feel like calling it a shirt is not is demeaning it's kind of not fanciness refined no cost expense i guess i also got my nails painted getting nails painted is fun except if there is the slightest crack in my nails i go absolutely ballistic and i tear every single nail off all, all the 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 uh the coloring what I, what is it called polish i don't know i can't stand it though what else did I do? My hair was like crazy. Did I wear lipstick? I think I did. Yeah. I did it for I did it for the meme, and that's it. But yeah, that there's a photo of me that is quite scandalous, and I deleted it from existence. I believe there are many photos of me still cross-dressed though. And I think I did this every year. And it's not a thing like I was like, yeah, let's cross-dress! No, it was like, it's a tradition, and tradition was super important in the, the band. <laughs> well, I wasn't playing trumpet while lip-sticking, while, li while lip-sticking. It was a, that, I forgot what button to press. Um, it, it's a lip-sync. And I got the main part, I believe. Oh yeah, that's right! Um, because most people on here don't know, except maybe the oldest regulars. Um, one of the reasons, one of the primary reasons I had to quit playing trumpet is because I had a problem I have had many people try to solve, and we can't figure it out. But it is, um, I can inflate, well, I have no choice but to inflate my neck when I play, and what that does is it pushes the blood vessels of my neck. It sucks that this only hits one person. It pushes the blood vessels of my neck against the skin and stops the blood flow to my brain. Resulting in two things. One, as long as my brain does not have blood, or well, reduced blood, it, um... I hate, I'm deleting these guys. I've made my judgment, these guys suck. I, and this is like, I hate this music. Like, this is bad music, I, I don't like it. Oh, but that's pretty good right there. I don't know what that is, but that's pretty crazy. Did you see that fucking bullshit curve around that wall? That is absurd. That is a fucking insult to my bean. Piss off. Uh... <laughs> it just came off screen. It was like, poke? <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Fuck me, this is the worst cycle! Oh, they're all long boys now. He's gonna hit me through the wall if I stay there. What was I? 
Oh yeah, yeah. So um, it'll either make me lightheaded as I have reduced blood flow to the brain, or, or the main problem is once the blood flows back at full blast, it really sends a like a really bad migraine or headache to my head and can knock me out. I've only blacked out where I was still conscious, but I lost all muscle control and vision, but I could, I was still like conscious and I like fell to the ground. Um, but I've, I've talked to many people around the world. I've had lessons from people in like Germany and stuff and no one can fix it, um, which is really unfortunate. But um, th that attack is th peak garbage, that attack. If you saw, like, it was so fast and so, <laughs> It just came in again. Shitty little sword. Fuck off. This is awful. I am like totally at this guy's fucking mercy. They're all grouped together. I keep seeing the point of his sword only come into the screen and nothing else. I didn't... I don't even know. I know... I think I know that what attack that is. That's where he like... It comes up from the ground. Uh, did I lose? I think I might have lost. Piss off! <sighs> they both have long boy swords? This su <sighs> This sucks biggest Akis- <sighs> That attack. That one we just saw is the one that keeps hitting me through. Really? That didn't hit? That was like- uh, I'm not going to risk it. I got really greedy right there, almost. I don't know why I'm breathing so hard. This it's, isn't hard, this hard to get to this part. He just did it again. He did that stupid bullshit. Kill one of you, please. Dude, <laughs> It is bullshit, but it is funny every time I just see the blade come on screen. <laughs> only, only, it's only funny because it's not hitting me. That was, see, like, that was not funny. <sighs> ah! Uh, I think I may have lost. I don't think I have enough Quicksilver to kill them. Piss off with that attack. I already knew he was doing it. I know how to manipulate the Wow, well, I He fucking countered me. Um I think I lost. I mean I'll try till the end. Fun facts for everyone new too. Every death I do a set of exercises for every death. Whether that be squats, push-ups, running. I don't do any cardio. I should. To motivate me somehow. I, I really hate what I'm listening to. I wish I could change it. Gosh, this is fucking awful. I, oh, I say I hate it, and it's like, oh, you know what? Let's get 30 times worse. Piss off with that attack. I <sighs> Well, how did I get into this? It, it should I searched up math rock bands and math unfortunately math rock is so close to noise. Um there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. And I die from the guy I really didn't want to die to. Okay, sorry for putting you th all through that. Let's fucking get rid of this band. What is it called? Six Finger Satellite. Six Finger Satellite bad. Screaming bullshit. Oh, but then they come in with like a groove like that. 
Uh, I'm not going to do any more song requests for today, um, mostly because I want to give you guys accurate assessments of music you send me, and my ears actually hurt right now. Um, wait, do I? Yeah. I, wa I want to be able to, like, you know, not be like, I hate this song because my ears feel like they're bleeding. Andy, parry so you do more damage without using Quicksilver? How do I parry? You, you mean I have to use this while they are attacking? Is that what you're saying for me to do? Because, no, 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 no offense, but do you see how much I'm struggling already? But I, I keep records of all of the uh, song requests, so it's not like it's gone for today. You have five more Kurds. Cockstrong, I don't know how many you have left, but I know you have some. It's it's not because the music's too loud. The music's actually really quiet. I think there's two things that are responsible. I think it's because my voice is being, I think, kind of being put more loudly into my headphones because happy that didn't do much damage um i also don't think i increased the deaths <laughs> just try winning everyone says that um it's fine i don't care about that uh, um i think it's just because i've been listening for four and a half hours now. I keep saying I'm gonna do shorter streams, and then I don't. I got too excited by people here. <sighs> I'm hoping I get a run that's like, hopefully entertaining for the stream, but that's like really fucking long. Well, I guess that's what the Seath run's gonna be, but then I can catch up on my videos. Okay, let's go. Yeah, my ears are starting to hurt. And I, so I even, Outside of streams, I usually listen to at least like three hours of audio content in some form. I'm kind of dependent on it. Mostly I listen to podcasts now, but it kind of calms me down. But I listen to an enormous amount of audio. Get unlocked! <sighs> Might as well pick up my... Z oh, 260 echoes, okay. Fuck you. I hate when that happens. Is this how this is this how this battle normally goes? You're like st going in circles. Oh, no. That's such bullshit. I'll try again cuz that was not a good try. Um That guitar look was pretty good. Um, only it's one enemy, and I guess this is second to last fight. I want that footage. Oki boys and most insane homing. <sighs> My personal favorite of the get good type stuff is lower the enemy's HP to zero while keeping yours above zero. Yes, I too like games. I, I doubt I'm going to win. Big doubt. But I'm going to give it another try. This will be my final try unless I die in like two minutes. I need my sleeps. Why am I having... Wow! I really thought... I was like, yes, go over that cliff. Good. Um, yeah, I'm not like at peak performance right now. I had a really rough day. 
for no reason. Um, but also, I'm like tired now. My peak performance, I I think I could have beat them if I was at peak performance. But I only get that for like 40, I can only maintain it for like 45 minutes. My gamma waves, I've talked about that in chat before. I should look, I don't think I actually studied those formally. I think I, that was on my own, gamma waves. Yo, speaking of gamma waves, because it sounds like pseudoscience bullshit, but it's not. I'm sorry if you're in the chat and you hear me say this, but someone was like talking about like how the number of deaths in one of my runs was their their number synchron synch synchronicity. I don't know actually how to say that word. Synchronicity. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So I looked that up and it is so like out there that I, I can't even find, like, an actual result for it that's not part of crazy weird stuff. Where am I from, by the way? Well, my heritage is Polish, but I was born in California, lived in Arizona for 10 years of my life. So I moved, like, almost immediately to, Calif uh, to Arizona. And then when I was 10 years old, I moved to Colorado. I kind of like this. What the fuck are you doing? What the, the, the... Why was he over there? Oh, piss off. Now this is boss fighting music. Oh, now it's not. Now it's now it's now it's opening theme. I'm getting dizzy from doing this. I was just bombarded with possible futures to get out of that attack, and I was overwhelmed. <laughs> he even dodged! That was... how... <sighs> that, that was gross, man. I probably could have attacked that cycle, but I was thinking of a strat. Ah, my, like, Adam's apple or something got shifted or some shit that hurts to swallow. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what that phenomenon is! You gotta be shitting me! Gosh, you get the... Yeah, yeah, yo yo Get me out. Auger only run. That's what it looks like. It's more free than that. I, isn't the isn't the overlay? You guys can see the overlay, right? Hunter tools only. Fun fact: you can use the R one to do damage. Fun. Why don't you just use a diamond pick, <laughs> dude? Like, someone else said like. <laughs> There were so many people who came into that stream, the Minecraft stream, and were like, Why don't you just use a diamond pick? Like, why are you such an idiot? Just use diamond pick. And then they just get blasted. <laughs> Our repost allowed. Nothing's... Only hunter tools. Hunter tools only. Hunter tools, quicksilver bullets, and blood vials. That is all I can... Well, in armor. That is all I can use. Except I'm not really, not really using very good armor, am I? I am content with this level of difficulty. I wish it was a little more fast-paced and not run around. That, that is the hottest garbage I have ever seen in a FromSoft game. That is worse. That is more insulting than the Dark Souls 2 arrows. That, that is disgusting. At least from my perspective that I saw that from, that is... That is not the button to attack! That, like... 
It's like he's got the fucking magic missile from Terraria. That is unreal, the tracking on that. If he dodged that, I was going to scream. <laughs> oh. That was a misread. Um, that might kill me. Yoi. Don't know why I'm saying yoi so much. Oh, I bet it's because a guy wrote a really mean comment to me, and it was Chika Fujiwara's um, profile picture, and I was like, why? How would a shield only run in Bloodborne even work? Oh! True! That was the biggest fucking misread of the day. I'm trying to anticipate, anticipate phase two. This hurts my hands. Gosh, I can't believe I... No! Stop! I can't believe I didn't get hit. This hurts. It really is hurting my finger. My fingers. That's not- what? Hello? When did I change? Dude, I almost fucking just... <sighs> took myself out right there. Wow, really? I was surprised he didn't dodge there. <sighs> Try some new strategies, like not getting fucking cheesed by these idiots. I guess this is what I deserve for the Gwyn tree cheese. Mm, cool. <laughs> it's not hard, it's just bullshit. I hate it. Dumb. Pokey boys. Uh. All right. So here is what's going to happen. I may, may do Bloodborne on Saturday, or it might be the glorious start of the All Seath run. I do not know yet. Probably will be the all Seath run. Um, but Wednesday will continue to be Code Vein for now. Um, so I'll be streaming at the same time on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, so either Bloodborne or all Seath run. Hopefully I get all my computer parts and nothing explodes. But I, I have to do the all Seath run first to truly test the limits of my new computer. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But thanks to everyone that's been watching and sharing my videos and writing nice comments. I appreciate it. Um, and to everyone that watched the stream tonight, it was really fun having new people. I like telling stories, even if they're the same ones. So it's nice to tell tell all the same stories again. And also it's much easier to stream when there's a lot of people and a lot of talk. Um, for the Discord, I guess I'll have to ask Zero what's going on with that. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Any Anything that's like, oh, this is the hardest boss in this game, that I will be doing those runs eventually. My priority right now is the Dark Souls 1 runs. I kind of want to have all those under my belt. Probably won't do the same for Dark Souls 2 or 3, but I'll get some of them. Uh, Sekiro runs, I probably won't attempt for a while. Those look to be the absolute fucking worst. 
And uh, Sekiro takes more skill for me. Excuse me. Takes more time for me to build up skill than any of these other games because it is so difficult. Um, and it's just kind of... I feel like those runs are going to take way, way longer because I will literally have to get good at the game again because it's so demanding in skill. And I, I just don't really like the way the Sekiro runs are kind of set up. So they're not that in, in, uh, enticing to me. But yeah, I got to figure out what I'm going to do because I know everyone wants to do the Dark Souls runs. I do too. <sighs> Maybe I cut down my run times and I do a strict two hours and then I add another day. Maybe. Um, but I don't know. But I will be here on Wednesday doing Code Vein gifts only. If you want to see something that is harder than this, there that's that's what you'll be seeing that day. And it's way more brutal. There is way more suffering. Um But yeah. <sighs> oh, the poor man's poison. I'm definitely gonna check that out outside of stream. Uh I really like that first song you donated, so I'll definitely check that out. Actually, do I have that written down? Yeah. Who's your favorite Chan? <laughs> Fucking, yeah, like, I'll answer that question. Oh, but yeah, thanks everyone for coming. That's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, I'm hoping to get 5k subs by tomorrow. Wow, there are so many people here. Holy shit. This is 10 times the amount of people I usually get in my streams, so thanks everyone. Um... I hope I was able to entertain you in some way. <sighs> I didn't even get to my re-zero analysis that I could do for hours on end. Um, uh, I can't, though, because it'd be spoilers for 95% of people. Um, but yeah, let me... Sorry about the stream issues. I have no idea. Like, the... Uh... Oh! Oh, very cool! cool youtube cucked me that's fine it doesn't matter um anyway uh, let me let me let me let me okay it's not gonna let me do that cool anyway this is a really good ending um song but yeah so Different game on Saturday. All Seath run. Maybe on Saturday. I think I said Saturday twice. Code Vein Wednesday. All Seath run. Maybe Saturday. Hopefully. Um, and then I have to figure out what I want to do. I, I, I feel a pressure to get the Dark Souls runs down. Especially now that my videos are getting more traffic trafficked. Because I'm like, fucking Lobos is going to steal my runs from me. I can't have that. And I really want to get all the Dark Souls runs. The Dark Souls 2 and 3 runs I don't care too much about. But I want all the Dark Souls 1 runs. Especially the hard ones. I really want the hard ones down. Artorias, Seath, Manus, and Calamite. I, I think Seath or Artorias are going to be the hardest. Um, I have some strats for Manus and Calamite. Um, and those strats apply to Seath, but it's the curse that is scary. But anyway, <clears throat> I will see all of you guys later. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Have a good night. Stay safe. Get good sleeps if it's sleepy time, <laughs> if it's night. And have a great day if you're watching from across.